<laughs> Hello. 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 Very excited. This is an exciting session for Hello. sure. Because we're here for session seven, The Sphere. He's reading it. End game. Right, come on. Like, come on, just try to get drum up some interest. So like I mean, this was the thing, is like I finally saw just as an aside, I finally saw Endgame on Sunday night. And yeah. apparently they lifted no the spoilers. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not I'm not spoiler. I even put it in the but, tweet. No so like, spoilers. I was, this is a, this I had, is a meta spoiler conversation. Yeah, I had oh, avoided yeah. all it's a it's a conversation run, about spoilers. I had run. avoided all spoilers. Don't run. And then luckily I saw it on Sunday, and then on Monday it's just like my fucking yeah. Twitter feed is full of spoilers. And I'm yeah. like, what is this? And I actually go and look, and they're like, well, there was sort of like this joint two-week moratorium yeah. Yeah. that Marvel and Disney were doing on spoilers, and then they released the Spider-Man mm-hmm. Homecoming thing. Which literally, like, the first frame yeah, of the you Spider-Man can't... trailer is yeah. a spoiler. Yes. Good to know. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's like... Yeah, whatever. All right, let's play. Okay. Okay. Right. Right. <laughs> so where we are, a quick recap. So you have battled valiantly, party, and navigated valiantly through the twisting, planar shifted, time warped, space bended uh, city of Brisaira, the old haunt of the Siren Super Kingdoms, one of these outposts here. You were pushing forward to finally get to this place that the uh, nebulous client you have never actually met, but you've certainly met emissaries, uh, said was a library, and that um, they wanted to uh, have you go in suss the place out, clear it of any danger if such existed, and once you figured out you know, that the place was safe, you can do ascending, and the client was supposed to somehow show up through this crazy vista and lay claim to the property. So along the way, you battled some Sirenists, which was a lot of fun. You actually did see some uh, different, I, I say it was a lot of fun. Maybe you, maybe you had a miserable time. Uh, but, well, Frank died. <laughs> no, not really. All, yeah. Twelve has got my back now. The, di- the difference between almost died and died but not really feels like two very different experiences. <laughs> it's it's, really, it's really is only mostly dead for the most part. For the He's second in, time. For the second I know, that's <laughs> really great. Yeah, dude. Uh, so then you, you went all the way through, very astutely from one of our uh, players and viewers back home, uh, looked at uh, the face spiders that actually were emanating this cool venom, which it looked like being bitten would pull you into... Uh, or at least give you the opportunity to see into the ethereal plane, and then Idol had taken some venom mm-hmm. of that, and then very uh, savvily used it to perceive the different planar doors on the outside of this library structure, because there were no actual physical doors. Uh, and when she did that, she was able to actually push a little bit into the ethereal door, but more importantly, see each of the other doors for what kind of plane they aligned to. And so you went up to the one that was the Feywild, which is also Idol's natural habitat as a Eladri, or native home. Uh, and you Something said, like that. And I was like, so this was natural, natural habitat. habitat. Natural habitat. <laughs> <laughs> it's natural habitat. <laughs> Someone get David Attenborough in here. Here yeah, we see the Aladdin. <laughs> natural oh, no. oh, the, the predator is coming. <laughs> right, I know. It's a beautiful <laughs> elf. Oh, look at it. Uh, and what did you say to activate the uh, Feywild passage? Dos la me la hibra. <clears throat> that very thing actually allowed the portal to fluctuate and become active for a time. You passed through a much longer passage than you would have thought, but on the other side, you actually walked into this large circular chamber, and you're pretty sure, you hope, that you're on the inside of the building that you were originally aiming for. But what are the odds that you? <laughs> so that's where we start. I don't know, this... Mark. What are the odds? Yeah, that's what are the odds? odds? That sounds like the odds are one in four. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so let me just say this. So you, as you come in, the first thing that you actually notice, and then and then I'm going to do a short rest, which I think you've mightily earned for your labors. And this room is not currently fraught with peril. Uh, what you see is this vast room. It's about 250 feet across. So it's a very large room. This is actually a, a semicircular room. So it basically, I can even do this here. It's just, I mean, you can do the camera, like briefly if you went to Jared, it's really not, it's, it's almost entirely for the, for the, for the party. There's the. So it looks like a hamburger. Right. Mm-hmm. There's these planar portals. Bad I'm actually going to describe it in a little better detail Sesame on this, seeds. but so you can see what's going on. And, you uh, all live about here. Door. And some scarring. Here One is a, and a nose. 
<laughs> from my Where are the eyes, vantage, Mark? it looks like a Pokeball. Yeah. Yes. So these are like all a, of these like little planar vistas. These are these very it. large statues, and there's some strange okay. thing on the uh, ground, like it looks like you know, like a sigil. <clears throat> and then there's this door here, which I will describe in a little bit more detail. But Sloppy Foyer is very large, semicircle, 200 feet across, as I said. There are seven portals depicting strange otherworldly vistas adorning each of the walls around you. And between those portals stand eight 15 foot tall statues depicting Syrians, likely of a military na nature, just because of the way they all look. It could be you've seen Navy people, you've seen like Army. Each of you have seen some military stuff like that. I don't really think that helps very much. Yeah, I, I, it's, <laughs> it's, it's literally more for, your ref, winter. more for your reference. Um, it's round. <laughs> and you see in the center of the room, as I said, there's uh, there's this little uh, circular glyph or sigil on the floor. And then very across from you, see a large circular door set within the wall. On its surface, there are several circles with lines trailing from them across the surface. And because I realized that wasn't probably going to be very tough to look at, let me just give you the, the skinny. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's how I see that? So there's like, uh, a very large door across the way, another 12 to 15 feet tall, and it has 10. this pattern on it, right? These circles, and then it, that is apparently like this cap, an aperture. And then that adventure, adventure, yeah. So first, first order of business, a new yeah. app, yes. <laughs> <clears throat> because it does seem like this is a pretty chill spot that you can at least grab a little bit of downtime mm -hmm. and recharge some of your stuff. Yeah. Right. Yep. Definitely spending some hit dice. Uh, so I also have a uh, song of rest. Oof. So oh, I right. can play some soothing music, though I forgot my guitar. No, no. Oh. Uh, Who's got inspiration, by the way? I, I just do. want to know. But three of you. All, <laughs> all everybody. <laughs> everybody. But not, not me. <laughs> How is that possible? Which is why you were dying. <laughs> <laughs> no, I yeah. provide the inspiration. I got yeah, my, I don't. Through death. I got my dungeon master eye on you. Uh, we'll see where this goes. Gosh, I have we one will see where this goes, because this is, this is like the end game. So, basically... You see... Oh, it's like that movie. I get it. <laughs> Which one? That, we don't <laughs> know. Like Infinity War? Or? Fried Green Tomatoes. Got it. Yeah. Ahead of you is a room to explore. Ahead of you is some crazy sigil on the ground to look at. One thing, interestingly, you don't see any steps currently in this vast semicircular room. Um, as in stairs? No yeah. stairs. Yeah. Stairs down. Oh, yeah, no next steps. Where are our next steps? <laughs> so, is this the sigil on the ground? Yes. It is. Okay. So uh, I throw a rock at it. All right. Mark one rock off. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> then oh. pick up a rock and unmark it. <laughs> Add one rock to your inventory. I find a rounded rock compared to my square one earlier. Well, I want to walk up to it and look at it. Okay, uh, take a look at it. <clears throat> yep. Um, basically, it seems like a kind of uh, sigil that you've probably seen before, idle in various ways, um, mm -hmm. that has some higher function to it than just ornamentation. Sure. If you uh, give me an arcana check, int arcana. I can do this. I can't do this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, that's an 11. Oh, yeah, that's great. It was a 10 hey. that you needed to get. So when you look at it, actually, you, you, you figure out how to use it. It's, it's basically it's a teleport circle. Huh. It's it's was a little tricky for you because it was in Siren, but then again, you have some understanding of Siren, so you were able to kind of puzzle through. You're like, oh, okay, I get it. This is how I love how simple that, sound, that sounded when you said it. Like, it's yeah. just a Siren teleport circle. Yeah, yeah. it's just a giant, <laughs> it's a very standard. <laughs> Whatever. But you're able to, like, figure out what sigils actually mean, what gestures you would have to do to activate it. Hmm. So that'll send you off somewhere. That's pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> Bye, then... guys. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. I'm, I'm, out yet. Of, I'm done. I'm going to go home and sleep. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So that was the glyph or the door? That was the glyph on the okay. floor, mm -hmm. and then there's the door with the aforementioned... Yeah. I'm going to go up to that door. I wonder if I could see that image again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. This is, is where... 
Be stronger or, than the or, paper, Mark. Be or, stronger than the paper. Or are you telling me that it doesn't matter? Oh, uh, <laughs> well, it matters in the sense of rocking it from a player standpoint. Sure. But it, not from this great... It's this not is, a, It's uh, not an intricate puzzle that you have to map out. Okay. I cast Mage Hand and start poking at the circles. All right. Well, actually, if this you, if you want to check it out more, you can give me an investigation check, and you can help each other, too, if you want to have advantage on that. It's going to be DC 15 to really understand what's going that on. That was a one. Oh... Frank. It's, it's not so, really a door, Frank. There's people talking about Investigation is oh, okay. intelligence. Intelli- darn it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get? I got, I have 13. Ah, uh, 13? Not quite good enough. I'll take so, a chance. So, and does anybody nope. want to try to help somebody with a little... So the thing is, there's a geometric component to it. There's, mm-hmm. like, some logic. There might be potentially some insight you could apply. Actually, if, if you would like to apply some arcana to the int check... Can it's I basically the same it? for me. <laughs> I don't think you can intimidate. How about it? persuade it? Uh, you might be able to persuade. <laughs> You're the fucking useless. So thing. I got a sixteen. No. All right. It's uh, actually the, the way that it, it becomes clear that you can actually focus. You even can, through your experimentation, your mental power, you're actually able to see the different circles moving a little bit. You realize that whether you touch them and pull them around, or whether you actually concentrate on them. There is a pattern to see or this door at least, you see all mm-hmm. There's a pattern to it which actually you align them in a different kind of a pattern and it opens up the door. Mm-hmm. And when you actually get the pattern that you divine to be correct based on that uh, particular marking, a really beautiful tonal sequence plays. Beautiful. But not quite like that. That's in like music. <laughs> when you with the door it goes ding boom. So it goes, I'll be right there. <laughs> So is this is this a pretty common way that Syrians would lock things? Is yeah, it... you saw, actually, I don't know if you, you recall, because it was a while ago, but uh-huh. when you passed through the interior wall, the gate that actually went into the old quarter, uh-huh. this, there was a door like this, okay. and it actually shifted, like, in different okay. patterns emerged. You didn't hear a sound that time, interestingly enough. But that's th- those things moved, and then it kind of cycled away. Mm-hmm. And then it went back in place, and the pattern had reset it. I am going to... How big is this? I think like tw- uh, 12, 15 feet tall. It's just, oh, it's, feet, okay. It's large. This is, this okay. is the door. very large. Like we should yes, put, so, that, so that thing is on the... It. That's the whole door. It's not like a thing on the door. Uh, yeah, that's okay. the whole door, even around the edges. So, okay. And that's the thing... Um, it's good, Jerry. Mm-hmm. There's the dungeon on the back of your little ball. So you surreptitiously didn't look at, which you I appreciate. Put your ball in it. <laughs> <laughs> you got a special Don't ball. tell me what put to do with my ball. ball. Put it. Put your ball in it. So, but no, no. There, does it look like necessarily there's a spot for the orb? Mm-hmm. But, but. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> no orb. It's an orb. Yeah. Your ball. Well, I'm at least going to. got some orbs on you. going to make it. I want to draw. I want to like draw. Like pattern. Yeah, draw what the correct That's, pattern is. And yes. I want to draw the sigil on the floor as well. Yeah, so you can totally get that and like take a couple mm-hmm. moments. Yeah, you need you crayons. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I've got it covered. Thanks. Cool, I've got a lot of green. I bet you do. <laughs> uh, what you see beyond is just kind of like a darkened room, but as the door cycles open, you see that the room becomes suffused with a light, as you'd expect from high magic users. I mean, come on, they're not going to slouch them like this. Or torches. So yes, so the room illuminates, and you see beyond it what looks like either black steps moving up or rows of something, and then in the center, directly ahead of you through the door, you see what looks like a raised dice and a, and some kind of a console with some some implementation on it. Found the helm. I'll take care of this. <laughs> Let's fly this building so, out. So yeah, <laughs> walking walking straight up to this <clears throat> control panel. All right, and you walk up. Sure enough, you like walk up the dice, and now that you actually see into the room, um, you actually see that it's, for want of a better analogy, it would be like um, like bookcases almost. Mm. So there's like shorter ones in the front, slightly taller ones behind that, slightly taller ones behind that. And upon closer examination, you actually see that there's just an, a ton of little metal discs stacked within. All around, oh, so they man. so they look like book, bookshelves, but there's no books on them. It's, there's no it's, books. It's the discs. Yeah, yeah. It's are the discs flat, flat, flat? Are they the size of the circles in the door? Um, no, no, there's no, there's no size relationship there. But would you call them compact? Are they? 
They're, they're, uh, are they, I don't are they mini? should abbreviate to like CD. They might what, even what be. color would their <laughs> rays be? <laughs> oh, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> like, like they're not <laughs> circular discs, even though there's so much else that's not. Yeah, yeah. They're not CDs. They're floppies. Yeah, they're floppies. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the series really rolled the one, man. It's <laughs> under storage. <laughs> right. Okay, well, I want to get my hands on all of these. All right, uh, you're like pulling very some out. Very carefully, very carefully. They're all very differently shaped. They're in, in made of some obvious metal, but it's hard to say exactly what kind. They have an odd, almost oily sheen on the outside of them, and no markings whatsoever. Oh, but no, some of them so are just, very differently shaped. So they're ju- they're different shapes, but smooth. Yeah. Okay. And moist. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so moist. <laughs> You, you uh, said uh, you were going up to the console? Straight up Okay, to, yeah. go ahead and divide it. Now, I have to say, it's an Arcana check. Yeah. This is a magical apparatus. Uh-huh. So, DC 18? Uh, that is a 13. Uh, yeah. So, but but you no. do you do sort of realize <laughs> what you could help with is by saying, like, this for sure isn't, like, a logic puzzle. Or sure. Some, like, the door almost was more of that. This was more of a, you kind of have to have the right vibe and, you know, yeah. channel the right thoughts. I am undeterred by my lack of knowledge about this <laughs> thing. Uh, does any Is anything on it round? Uh, there's nothing on it that's round, but you actually notice now that you see it, there are, it looks like a circlet that you could put on your head. You could put it on his Elf! There, <laughs> Excuse me? There's a crown for you here. I run up super excited and grab it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's a it's a fancy little. I put it on my leg. arm and it dangles on my shoulder. Beautiful. Elf, the bear elf is gonna ruin this okay, thing. Okay, I'm you sorry. What are you calling me? Elf. No, use my name. Uh, which I is, don't. Thank you. Don't call me Elf again, or we're gonna have a problem. Elf is quicker. Call, say Eladrin if you're nasty, but not Elf. <laughs> <laughs> don't. I'll do that either. <laughs> I'm going to put this crown back, realizing I was supposed to be mad. And just, I'm there, there, actually, there is an indentation of sorts. I, I should, I should, there is an indentation on the console. There is. I didn't ask. Did you ask? No, you asked for the circle. It's not a circle. It's not I'm a circle. Just, I'm, just, I'm hanging out with the navigator. I'm yeah, over there. Make sure he's, he's fine. And I'm approaching uh, behind, and, uh, and I just grab the crown and do obviously don't know what's going on here. Let's see if I can figure it out. Mm-hmm. Boom. Nice. So just intuitively, perhaps, because you have a sense of, this is especially into the ar- arcane, you place the circlet <clears throat> the, around so that it presses on your temples a little bit, and you feel a sense that it's waiting to read something or to pull information down. So what you have is a sense of you know, space behind your awareness. It seems like maybe there's something. Like, like yeah, maybe some sort of thing like that contains data. <laughs> if only I mean, there was a floppy piece of metal. <laughs> I, I pick two at random from the shelf that I'm standing by and I bring them over. All right. Everyone looks more like Dark Side of the Moon. I put it in the console. <laughs> like, like, you just, all you need to do actually is put it down into the, the basic. Small mm-hmm. indentation mm-hmm. in the console. Uh, and suddenly a rush of images floods through your mind. Frunk, would you please give me a will saving throw? A rush? Willpower. This is straight will. Wisdom. Yeah. <laughs> this, is so, this is my old school third edition. Yeah. Third Ooh. edition. Now that's a 20. Nice. Uh, this is awesome. Did you actually roll a natural? Yeah, that's, that's a 19 still plus one. Still freaking awesome. All right. So, what happens is, you see, like a fire, there's this rush of bestial faces, twisted landscapes, weird flora and fauna, plants that should never walk the earth, much less walk, right? Like all this (laughs) information, but then you're able to like slowly start to parse it down and take out individual pieces of it. And you see some creatures from might be this world it seems like the prime material plane nothing from any kind of a habitat you've seen before but just tons of like animals and plants and things of that nature from a world like this one although clearly not from the build that you know what is going on 
that's that's just where I'm at right now. Yeah, you're like, actually, yeah, maybe your eyes are fluttering. Okay, in my... <laughs> It's, it's, like, it's like VR. Did, did you have too no, much it, of the you, smoke? You, so it's like AR. For, for an analogy, what enough. it's like is you are basically getting a torrent of you know, information. You know Kung Fu? Kind of, yeah. Like, well, I mean, sort of, yeah. Like, basically. If this plane was called the Kung Fu. Exactly. Right. Instead of whatever. It's basically, it's like an encyclopedia, if it's you want like to. It's like the Peruvian from Mass Effect. This one is animals. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep going. There's nothing new. Yeah. It's like, yeah, that's like, oh, right? So nice. that, that's basically what's going okay. on. And so you're able to actually pick some stuff. Now, you don't know what you'll do with that knowledge at the very moment, but yeah. Okay. You'll but, kick Lawrence Fishburne's ass later. Yeah, but you could kick Lawrence Fishburne's <laughs> Or Elrond's. Or uh, Elrond's. So congratulations. You rode the lightning. That was a really hard, hard check. Oh. It's time for Metallica. Yeah. <laughs> Right. So, nice. so uh, yeah, I assume you just gave. We've managed right, to get through that whole thing yeah, without naming so it. Back out of that. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, right. Abu <laughs> says next. <laughs> just kidding. I don't want any part of that. So <laughs> that looked weird. So are there any more? I mean, uh, there's, there's a room full of, tens of them. Tens of thousands. Let's go. What I mean, what what is the point of all this? Yeah. Uh, hey, hey, look. So mm-hmm. is this? Is this the room they wanted us to secure? The thing that makes your eyes flicker? Surely this cannot be the entire facility itself. It's a library. That's well, th- this <laughs> is an excellent amount of information. That is true. I can see why they would have thought it of a library. However, surely there must be more to this facility. Is it one just big room? All right. I'm Did you s- not find a... So we oh. have like a quest mark, a <laughs> well, quest no, marker above I think it's head. a logical thing. Like, well, done, next. <laughs> yeah. Job That's done. what I would say. We're here. It's a library. Where's the cash? <laughs> right. The cash. There's so, no, like, I can't sell these fucking oily discs. Where's the... Uh, is there is there a part of the room that's hidden by the... You, you said that the, the height of the shelves sort of go out from the center. Mm-hmm. Is, is there a wall behind the widest shelves that is... Like, could I walk around the outside beyond the tallest shelves? Yeah, probably. Okay. So I'm, could, you couldn't... You, you could also, like, hop all the way up, I guess, to the top, but you could also just walk yeah, around. That's, what yeah, what I want to do is I want to circle the whole room along the outside and see if there were, like, doors or other things hidden behind those shelves. For sure. Uh, do you roll a search or do I? Like, uh, I can do it, uh, an investigation. I think you would go back out, reseal it, and do something different. It'll open up to something different. I got a base 14. Uh, yeah. you, you, you feel pretty D- Diedrich confident. does not think that. <laughs> you feel pretty confident that the outside wall is actually pretty solid. That, or at least you haven't found any secret drawers. All right, I come back and I report to a mook. This is the whole place. This is everything here. You might as well light your beacon. I'm there. I, I agree. No, wait. I also want to wait for a second. Do Is there like a... For lack of a better term, a Dewey Decimal System on the shelves that are like identifying... This what? is named for the great elven warrior, El- Elthon Dewey. Dewey <laughs> Decimal. Who was famous like for decimate. organizing his arrows. <laughs> yes. And, and his weirdly shaped discs. Uh, they're... they're how, I don't know. There could be, but I'm just not sure how, how you would perceive it. You want to give me some ideas for how you would... So, uh, I... So... Varys is looking at the edges of the shelves and noticing, like, what their texture is and seeing if there's any individual markings that seem to in- show a pattern. Is there, like, a one and then a two and then a three, like, individual strikes? Or uh, There isn't anything visible in that way. Okay. Um, I would say, though, but you talking about that, and I assume, like, kind of out loud, like, right. hey, let's around this kind of thing. Um, Frank, you might be able to chime in with some knowledge because you do have a sense of almost like a greater sequence. This is like really at the edge of your consciousness, but you felt like the disc that you were pulling stuff from almost was like one of many of a body of knowledge. So there is probably a way that it's all codified. Uh, Frank, did you get an idea of where a giant thing of animals, pictures and information would be? I mean, I got a lot of images of that nature. I want to. I kind of. It's still like a fresh wound, too. Yeah. It's it's hard to think about directly. If that makes sense. I want to pull off some discs, looking for something like that's animalistic, and I want to try this. Could, <laughs> I was thinking about you <laughs> at that's the time. The yeah. Right. Yeah. 
Well, so I, I so run. If you a, want more of that, then sure, try the spot that Idol pulled that from. Right. I, I feel like if we're going to spend any more time here, I want to like go to the extremes and see what's in opposite corners of this place. I'm honestly going for a deep pull of yeah. being able to transform into a foreign world's animals. <laughs> While they're all doing this, I want to stab myself with more spider venom and look into the ethereal plane again. All right. Um, How many uses of that do I have, by the way? <laughs> let's say, including this one, four. Perfect. Uh, all right, so you're doing that. You're do looking at the streams of, of, yeah, right, just yeah. trying to figure out if first you can access something. Right. Well, so are you going to go up to the console and try and plop another disc right. in from the spot that you pulled Could that from? Could he teach me how to do it? Um, he it Actually, he could give you advantage. Yeah. But be like, shh, just go with it. Cool. You know, like whatever. Right. Right. Yeah, basically, like so. it's gonna be kind of a rush at first. <laughs> You're gonna want to take Amuk's novel here. <laughs> like, he's not looking. You're like, oh, <laughs> like I feel. I but feel it, it will it will give you advantage on the roll because okay. it is a um, DC fifteen <laughs> roll. You feel things they, around they the come edges through the ceiling okay. mostly so, at night. Uh, All right, roll that, and so, I will be back. I, I got a three plus my uh, so that would be a five. Okay, uh, so you're like, oh, I think I get the hang of this, and it literally just like blows you back, donks you with some mental rush. You take two points of damage Ouch. from uh, actual just like psychic blowback damage. Well, now I kind of want to try. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> so that was great. But then afterwards, you feel great. <laughs> uh, idle. Yes. So you uh, looked into the ethereal plane. You see that actually, interestingly enough. Uh, the the Fade Wild doors is like pulsing a little bit. The Ethereal doors pulsing a little bit. Is that seeing it through? <clears throat> yes. So so this other side. This We're is, over here right now, yeah, right? Yes. So this is the Fade Wild door, and it, it means like it's oscillating between active and inactive. Mm. And then the Ethereal one that you had looked at was there, and it kind of does the same thing. And you, you get a sense that potentially these individual portals like activate all at the same time. There's a shimmer around here as well. So it's, it's, you're not sure mm -hmm. which passages are open at any given time yeah. and they could be broken or. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing like on the side that we're on indicating that, Hey, here's a passage to a, a, the floor above us or a basement or anything. No, but I'm actually realizing that perhaps this is where you just have to own something. I think when you were looking at this, some sigils would have told you that there are, it's a directional teleport. It's mm -hmm. not like whisk you off into the Lost Land, it's mm -hmm. probably their fancy version of stairs. Okay. Just stairs that you don't actually have to walk up, which and is nice. It is why, exactly, because they're so <laughs> damn lazy. This would be good to point out at the end of the wrap-up in DM mm -hmm. tips when you get too clever by half. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just need to show the party stairs. Sometimes it just needs to be fucking steps. <laughs> like, oh, I get it. There's now. another term for these. They're yeah. known as elevators. <laughs> right, 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 yeah. Yeah. Other thinking. question: Have I, am I aware of any technology like this from the Syrian Syrian artifacts that I've seen before, or is this like totally wild and new? That's not even super wild necessarily okay. for the Vild. Like I, I think in Guild there are places in different guilds and stuff will have teleport circles to other different places. Mm -hmm. So that does exist. It's it's not out, out the realm of mm -hmm. possibility. Really what made this one so weird is simply that it was all in Syrian and that it was using their geometries and their... It was a little bit different from modern times. But, but, this, but this specifically, this ability to store data the in an object library, that you right. retrieve mm -hmm. this way. Oh, sorry. Uh, so, yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, not talking about any oh. of the teleportation stuff. Yeah, I mean the information that we're accessing now. This is 100% off the grid, yes. Okay. That is, that is unlike anything uh, that you've encountered. <laughs> yeah. And may have encountered in the Rune Academy, and yeah. may have encountered anywhere yeah. else. Yeah, so Idol is looking a little bit crazed right now. Yeah. I mean, really what it, it is, it's a vast amount of information from uh, a race of people that traveled the plains and traveled mm -hmm. across God knows how many other worlds besides. And so, yeah. Take the last disc on the farthest possible reach of this space and come back and crown up and drop it in and see what happens. All right. Do a, do a will. That's uh, a 12. Uh, you were going for a 15. <laughs> whiz, whiz, whiz. Um, 
All right, you get a fragmented sense of a vast array of sounds, different tones, music, and, and, and yes, in sounds, oral auctions, contrivances that uh, are just beyond your ability to actually take possession of. Take four points of damage from from the actual Stockhausen. Oh, right. <laughs> but 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 it's 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 a beautiful thing that you're almost able to to, to take rock. four points of damage from Pierre Henry. Right, or just just from the 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 beauty of it, like the universal. Yep. It's, the damage is from coming back to our broken world. It's re-entry. It's a serious, in, a, in a higher form of music. And um, start crying. Oh no! Oh, yeah. I give him a hug. I'm over there too. But I will remember that. Mark makes a note of that. That you cry. No, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> the DM will you tears. You have tears. Orcs don't cry. But half orcs cry half the time. <laughs> Okay, well, well, then your eyes are bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> um, where idol are you at? Um, well, I guess I brought tablets over, so I'm wherever the console is. Okay, so you're like you're in here. Actually, everybody yeah. is in here. Is yes. that yeah, true? Because yeah. yeah. if a, a mook came in, then I mm-hmm. came in with him. All right. Um, you hear from the other room. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not, I don't know if I can be able to do it, but it's like. <laughs> Excuse me. Axe is out. Was that? I mean, were you going for something different? No, I was probably going exactly for that. Alright, good, perfect. (laughs) They see me walk through the portal. (laughs) 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 I've been walking through the Feywild. Everyone we've ever met is right there. 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 (laughs) But yeah, there's this like shrieking, like, that sounds like a feral. Oh, finally something I know how to interact with. (laughs) Right? (laughs) (laughs) Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yep. So that's happening. Uh, party, you hear that? What do you do? Axe is out. I yeah. hear. Ready. Straight, straight towards the sound. Uh, moving. Uh, um, well, I guess we're here, so I don't need to protect a monk anymore. He's on. He'd be on his own. He actually, while well, you're, you're axes, you're know, getting ready to go. Uh, he's sort of like backing away and kind of looking at the all the different library things, and he might have a mind to you know, road up himself <laughs> <laughs> Not before I get a chance to. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah I'll, just, I'll just hang out with these guys. Shield, shield ready. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 like, linger a little too long on this disc that blew me out that I'm obsessed with now, and I try Pockets. to find a place to, yeah, to pocket that motherfucker. Try to catch up. Yes, the, mu- the Siri musical mm-hmm. disc? Or, or sound, really. It's like oral sculpture. Whatever you really want to call it. <laughs> yeah, most important right. thing in my life now. Yeah. <laughs> you, put, you put that in your pocket? Um... Uh, I'm assuming you're looking out the door. You're saying you went straight at it. That's right? what, that was the sound came from the other side of the. It, it came from the barrier, right? it, yeah. It came from well. It echoed around the acoustics in here are very funky. Right, but it was definitely through the threshold. Correct. So I'm just charging to the threshold so I can see what's what's out there. Okay. Uh, could you please give me a perception check because you're actively scanning. That is a nine. All right. I don't see shit. You, you know, <laughs> part of the reason for that, though, is because it looks like all of the portals, all seven of the planar vista portals, are actually like flickering a little bit, like uh-huh. undulating a little bit. Hey, uh, Idol? Yes? Did you stab me with your phase poison? No. All right, then we should all be careful because I see weird shit. <laughs> <laughs> can you can you be more specific? Not really. <laughs> okay then. Yeah. Uh, can I can I look over uh, to Flash's shoulder to see if I can perceive what's going down? Uh, it's a pretty large door, so you could all look. Okay. I mean, it's you know, like 15, yeah. 12, 15 feet tall. So oh, feet tall. Let's get a steep. roll for that. The eleven plus. Also, so I'm fifteen. All right, 15? Okay. Mm, never 15? mind. <laughs> I, I distracted idle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 15. All right. So, Varys, as you flash, scanning around very quickly, you can actually discern that of all the portals that are, in fact, flickering, only one of them has uh, what looks like a vaguely feline form coming, pulling through it, pushing through and as you see this black feline face pulling through, you see above it two tentacles 
like glide through effortlessly above its head and they're rimmed with spikes and they kind of proceed and probe the darkness of this area or the ill light of this area and then it kind of like jumps through. I pull up my spray bottle and I start hissing at it. This is a very (laughs) large uh, (laughs) creature. When you actually see it just jump through very, very nimbly, you see that it actually has six legs. Three pairs of legs, not two. And that, in fact, the tentacles that had come out ahead of it were not some other creature, but a part of it. They actually are attached to each shoulder, and they kind of just, like, glide around, as I said, probe the air, whisk. And it sniffs a little bit, and then again, and then it kind of, like, looks over at the door as if it was able to sort of just trace you. Right. So, looks, it it can see? Yes. Okay, so it can see... but it's using these to probe as well. Like, feel out. Interesting. Cool. Hard to know. Right. Something may have... Actually, you're uh, a, a woods, woods... A survivalist, a woodsman. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> probably, this is something from the Feywild. When you had pushed through, it got your scent. Mm. And it actually tracked you back through the portal to here. Ugh. I didn't realize I smelt that way. You smell bad. <laughs> you smell like fresh meat mm-hmm. to, ah! to, a, to an alpha, to a alpha <laughs> predator. So, party, cool. it sees you. You see it. Let's roll some initiative. Try to persuade it to flash. Uh, I'm going to throw a spear at it. Hey. <clears throat> Does anybody need a 22? <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. Take that as a... No. How about a 20? How about a 15? 16. 17. 17? And I was feeling oh. good about this roll. Oh, <laughs> no, that is good. I'm sorry, so flash 17, on a 17. I have no dexterity. Uh, I think Varus on a 17 as well. <clears throat> All right. Varus, uh, I can't remember. I think Varus, you're the more dexterous. He is. All right. And Frunk is probably more dexterous than me to break the 16 tie. Team dexterity. All right. <laughs> Frunk, you're next, followed by Diedrich. Idol? 14. All righty. I believe that is the party that in would be show. first most of the time. I know. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I bet. I bet the people at home know what I'm going to show you. It's an octocat. It is an octocat, but I just it, for it, everybody it else, I called it a tentacle lion. I'm, it is, I'm it's off. Or, or a tentacle uh, panther. A display Ten, tentacle lion. I like tentacle lion. <laughs> What? You don't know it's a displacer beast. <laughs> You've never been to the Feywild, <laughs> but I know uh, it covers the ground exceptionally fast, loping in a way that almost doesn't seem... I mean, its anatomy it seems crazy that it could actually cover the distance, but it does. It comes up. Obviously, I'm not really using minis. I just put it out there because it's pretty cool. Um, and it strikes. Did you pick that because uh, Jay had a nice miniature of a displacer beast for us? No. that's Because that would be a cool way to pick monsters. <laughs> actually, you know what's funny? What, I knew... What's the best mini... Those, yeah. those minis used to be mine, and oh, I knew so there you was knew. a boss there mine. Yeah, 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 I knew that that was Perfect. true. Um, can you actually, party, do me one favor? Uh, just for the sake of, I'm just going to do this for now. Let's just pretend like this is the battle area. Just show me where you are in this area. Was the, uh, you were where's in the, the Where's the threshold of the door? Uh, I, I ran to the door area. and stopped when I couldn't see where, where it was. Okay, so we're going to assume this now becomes the door. Okay. Just for the sake of discussion. Right? This is how we do it. Low budget DM land, DM's land. All right. So basically, here you said you're gonna stop. So stop at the door. Yeah. All right. And I know whereabouts are you? I was back by where the the console okay. was. Okay. I guess I haven't had a chance to move yet. So is uh, Amuk. Uh, so I was walking towards the noise. So I'm behind Diedrich. And- I'm up in front with you, Drew. That's what I thought. That's my man, Jeff Flash. Yeah. And then he bears is behind me. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Peeking around his shoulder. Yeah. Preferably yeah. on his Loyal, back. Loyal <laughs> All right. So the creature comes up, actually, and sees you, Diedrich. You yeah. seem like the uh, the most obvious threat to its dominance here, so it strikes yeah. at you. Uh, does a 20 hit? It does. <laughs> Does a 17 hit? It does. <laughs> all right. Oh, no. Oh, be- that's all right, party. 
Things are fine. Things are uh. fine. He didn't say that's okay, Diedrich. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 11 points of damage. Okay. And six more. Okay. So what I could have said is, 17 points. Uh, I, I know. I, 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 I want to say, from now on, I can, if it matters, because I don't think you guys have DR. What, what ended up happening was the tentacles actually strike out and hit you with just a huge amount of bludgeoning, blunt force trauma. Yeah. And then as they do, it pulls it away really fast, and those sharp spines oh, that are in out. it rips yeah. out, and that's for, uh, well, for piercing damage. Yeah. So it's like, like, ah! So the reason why is two different kinds of damage in the future if you were if you had resistance to this mm-hmm. Otherwise, yeah. you have 17 points of damage. Does that take a big divot out of you? Yeah, that's... I'm bleeding quite much. All right, so <laughs> that happened. Uh, but you are, you are, as a party, let's say... You could, you can't hold it off in the doorway because it's a large creature. I'm yeah. like trying to between J Flash and I, we could, we could, you, you we could, could basically make sure it doesn't like start running all around. Yep. It would be a brutal toll, perhaps, but that's the case. Uh, okay, next up, Varus. I'm a uh, casting cure wounds on Diedrich. Nice. First thing, so uh, that's one d eight. I, uh, I have faith and, in the face. Oh, you, you get to roll it. I, think. I mean, you could roll it if you'd like. Roll. You're the healer. All right, all right. Roll roll it. It. That's a d ten. That's not a d eight. Damn it. <laughs> this is it. There you go. All right, it's four <laughs> plus four, so eight. Thank you. You're welcome. Wicked says, try to save the pelt. That's really true. You can craft some amazing what? stuff. Mine? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Out of a dragonborn yeah. skin. Cool. Okay. Either, um. either one. Maybe both. Thanks, Elf. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're, You're welcome. <laughs> that is, I, I, ignore. I say missing the hole in sarcasm. <laughs> uh, that was your spell. You still right, do that's my spell. Gosh, I'm trying to decide. So... Like we could fill the door with a bear because a bear is a giant creature. That is true. Actually, a, a bear. Well, a bear wouldn't fill the whole door because it is a pretty wide door, but it would sure fill up half the door sure at fill. least. All right, it's a to just flash real quick into his ear. I'm like, I can bear up, or I can cast fairy fire on this thing my next turn and then bear up. What's the fairy fire will give us advantages on it? Yeah, we should do that. For okay, so I stay behind your flash, mm-hmm. and uh, I. Pre- can I like prepare to do something like? Uh, you can ready an action. Like with your move, sure. So like ready an action to like dodge or something like that. If, um, well, if you you just dodge, you can just yeah. say I'm going to dodge, and that's actually uh, an action. You can it, yeah, it's a state that you go into until your next turn. Cool. So I'm pretty dodgy. So, I, so I've used my action to heal him, and then I guess so I'm whatever I can do to avoid whatever's coming as long like as I'm hiding behind him to cast another spell next turn. Okay, you cast a spell next turn and basically you're just yeah, you're Yeah, I'm, I'm staying little elf until uh, until the start of your next turn any attack roll made against you has disadvantage if you can see the attacker and make it and you make deck saving throws with advantage as well. So, cool. Yeah. Okay. I'm, yeah. I'm doing that. Yeah. Right. You should know that too actually if you were doing something that wasn't attacking you could you could dodge yeah. attack. Is that <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. Well, this yeah, this is uh, an apex predator from the Feywild. Yeah. Uh, so l- I'm gonna longsword it. All right. Yep, that missed. All right. Um, that was almost so many good numbers on the way to that three. <laughs> so here's also something interesting. Um, when you went and struck with your longsword, it passed right through the beast. Uh-oh. It passed right through the beast oh, like no. it was insubstantial. Um, and mechanically, what that means is, party, you're rolling at disadvantage against this creature. Okay. So uh, I should have rolled two, taking the it, even lower one. Uh, yeah. Well, I was saying, like, I was going to tell you, and then when you missed, anyways, I figured, hey, it's yeah, a traumatic sure. moment. Right, yeah. But um, but yeah, basically, when you when you actually are starting to see the creature, which is almost hard to do, your eyes slide around it. It shifts a little bit as it goes. Uh, next up, Frunk. Okay, so I'm going to post up behind Diedrich and uh, and cast a very targeted cloud of daggers on top of the beast just on the other side of the door. Nice. We're holding him here. I'm going to hold him in a cloud of fucking daggers. Ooh. Uh, so, five foot cube. Five foot cube. Centered on a point I choose. On a point I choose. That point is him. <laughs> that point is him, right? I'm going to put that there for now. Uh, so... The creature takes 4d4 slashing damage when it enters the spell's area for the first time, uh, or when it starts a turn there. Now, are you? is that a targeted spell, or are you just yeah. dropping it? It's a targeted... It doesn't target the creature, it targets... Oh, targets it's a space. Point. Space. Yeah, yeah, space. I, I position it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, 
does he get to save against the damage at all? Do you want more, no. do you want more no. D4s? We have D4s coming up. So he won't, he won't take the damage until his turn, right? Because it's, it's when he starts a turn in it. When it first enters or starts a turn there. The question of the yeah. hour is, does the Displacer Beast... Does he have some kind of advantage? Some kind of advantage this? because yeah. you're dropping something, but I don't think that that's the case. Weirdly, near its location, if it gets hit by anything. Okay, yeah, you know what? Uh, this is a tough encounter, and I love my party. <laughs> so actually, you can just you can just drop it, and I'm going to say that at somewhere within its secret location, um, you actually get enough of it that the effect. Is. So shh, drop it. It's but, a five but I'm not cube. So yeah, full of daggers. Right. Full of daggers. So <laughs> right. he's anywhere in that general vicinity yeah. of the door. Right. There he's going to be. Yeah, because um. it's basically a shift. Well. It's a shift of an amount of feet away from its actual position. Doesn't matter though. How much damage do you do? Uh, so th- that would be ten points of damage. I ten still, am, I'm, I'm feeling points, weird about this yeah. rule. Like I it drop it weird. on him, so he's now inside it. So is that him entering it and therefore taking the damage? Now? I'm really not sure how they intended. This, 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 they, they they this gets into that like, like we don't want to be too finicky yeah. because the reality is we could probably spend some time like debating yeah. like which way or that. Here's what I think. It, it's not where it appears to be currently. You drop the thing uh, when you hit the creature. Ordinarily, and this is a little for people at home and for you guys. Um, if you actually hit it, you, you stop the displacement for an amount of time because it's basically like target that, oh. hit and right. fire. Right? Yeah. It's just like oh, I got it there. It is there. Yeah. Right? It is there. But I'm not going to let you do that on this. Oh, so the, right. so the he's going to take the damage. He'll but take we the damage, but exactly still don't know where he is. Yeah. Okay. Fair. Blood flies. Cool. I like it. Yep. So ten points of damage points. is really good. Uh, Question for the DM. Yes. Is Idol still under the effect of the phase poison? Uh, no. Okay. It's very short-lived. Okay. Diedrich. All right. So I'm going to swing with my magic axe first. Mm-hmm. Is that still disadvantage? Uh, yes. Just making sure. Okay. Yeah, that's a good call out. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. So that's a 16. Oh, that's a 17 to hit. That hits. All right. For nine damage. And I'm going to turn it into a... Uh, da, 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 da. A goading attack. All so right. there's extra damage. So an extra six. So a total of 15 Ooh. damage. Oh my gosh! And it has to make a DC 13 wisdom saving throw. All right. It's the wisest uh, of creatures. Fails. All right, so I yell, face me alone, Octocat! And now <laughs> if it attacks anyone other than me, it's at disadvantage. And just to be clear, it doesn't actually need to be really intelligent for that to happen. It's just. I mean, a, if it's just a critter, it's yeah, still okay. Yeah. It doesn't. Like, it doesn't say a creature. Narratively, you could be like, "I've done you enough damage that you're right. gonna yeah. you're gonna right. focus on me." Right. Yeah, and it thing. just hears. I, I drew all the aggro. Yeah. yeah. All right, so now I'm gonna swing with my. So oh, sorry. Yes, and what happens is quickly because that yep. was awesome. You strike with that axe and stick the air that's slightly off to the side of where it is. Yeah. And it, it recoils, Rawr! and you see the image. Fuzz, and then suddenly where your axe is is actually where the creature is. You all see that. Oh, because where it is the returning axe. Can yeah. I pull him a little bit towards me with no. it? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you do get that axe, yeah. and so now... Is your hand in the rain of daggers? Just just for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Dancing through clouds of daggers was well, no, I stay in pirate school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. So, so... Now you can strike with it. With the other one, so no disadvantage for the offhand. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's much worse. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's much worse. All right. I definitely only swung one axe that turn. Idol. Yeah. You're back by the console. Yep. Amuk has taken two, actually dashed behind the console as well. That's and fine. Forget about this. Uh, and you see the creature there, but you actually think you see exactly where it is because you see the axe yeah. just bury itself. I'm going to shoot it with my short bow. And is, so we're no longer at disadvantage, correct? Okay. Is Diedrich close enough that I get my sneak attack damage? Um, I think he's, I mean, well, he's been yeah, yeah, he yeah, just and yeah, J Flash was. Oh, you both are. Yeah. Okay. Yay! That's really that's, good. So that's a twenty-four. That target. is a hit. So. I was worried about you for six, a moment. Six. <laughs> is this much of a six. moment? It's okay. So um, seven, uh, twelve damage. All right. That, uh, that was with the arrow? Or yes. The arrow. Oh, arrow sinks into the beast. It seems to be exactly where it is. 
Perfect. Screams um, again, a feline scream of rage and pain. I'm going to use uh, uh, my bonus action as a rogue. I can, I can do this to hide. Mm-hmm. Ooh. I don't do it very well. That's a 12. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I will uh, make a note of that. Are you hiding just from the critter or from everyone? Just from the critter. <laughs> <laughs> it's like just from just from life. I just don't just yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, but this is the actual the thing that's interesting. Uh, uh, flash on its turn, the image goes and it seems to snap. And where Diedrich's axe was is empty space, and the image shifts around and scrambles. Um, it is a beast, but it knows when it's being ripped apart by daggers. Ouch. So it can move out of those daggers, right? But it still takes the damage? It's, it's when it starts its turn in cloud. Yeah. Which it does. So you get to roll those again. So, oh, that's just weird. That's yeah, exactly. That's why. So this, so that's I, a double dip. That's what we're doing. I think it has right. to be that you they, cast it, it doesn't take the damage. Yeah, they intended as once per round. Basically. Yeah. yeah. So basically, the damage you did, it takes now. That, that's okay, sure. Basically, because mm-hmm. I think the X is like, oh, so you cast it, and that was the thing. So it's doing. Two amounts of damage really quickly. Um, so, but, because that happened, you see it actually it's weird. leap, yeah, away, around, out into the perimeter, and start stalking and padding very quickly. Now, because it, it moved away, and it looks like it's moving very quickly around the wall to potentially come at you from this direction, and then it leaps forward, but it's not going to be... A, actually, it is pretty fast... That's probably too fast. It starts, it makes it like it's going to charge at you. Like, coming back with its tentacles. It's going to wake everybody. Uh, Varys. Okay. And your flash is next. Um, that's good. So, I, I wanted to know if I can do this action. That might be kind of insane. Um, so, first of all, I was going to cast Fairy Fire on him, so that would be my main one. Mm-hmm. And then, but the next thing I wanted to do is, um, shield vault off of him and turn into a bear and cannonball onto the thing. That's a whole lot of stuff. Yeah. Let's unpack that. Okay, so, <laughs> so the first step would If you had to prioritize. Right. It would be um, the vault getting me into the air. Okay. <laughs> that sounds like a move. <laughs> That's right. a move, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. So I'm in air. All right. Now you're in the air. At some height. I assume, yeah. did, you, did you flick the, the wild smelly elf? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a choice? All right, yeah. So I'm... I feel like you just scrambled up my shoulders and then jumped off like I'm a fucking diving board in the pool of death. I'm I'm imagining imagining it more like you have the face and the face is like, yeah! Like, super excited. The face face is actually like, yeah! I'm going to step on your eyebrow for that and you're going to spring off the (laughs) surprise. And then you would vault me in the air and then I would become heavy and land on top of the thing. Is what I'm going that for. That sounds like an attack. Cool. Yeah. So, yeah. but well, I'm just falling. But the, but the B shape you can do as a bonus action. As a right? bonus action, yeah. So, so that's why you're trying to get the fairy fire off and then leave you can't and just do the, become. Yeah, that's too many actions. Uh, too, that's, many actions. Yes. too many actions. <laughs> too many actions. That's fine. I so, wanted to ask. You vault, shift, and then it. Well, I wouldn't attack as much as just collapse on top of. It's uh, it's an attack. <laughs> it's an attack. I was Otherwise, curious. There's no, there's no, that to you. there's no <laughs> plus four for collapsing. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. <laughs> I, was I was curious about the rules. I was curious Although about if you like, swoon, you have advantage. Yeah. But no, uh, <laughs> it's the thought process was that it was like falling damage. Like I can't come from a hut because I suddenly become but you heavier. You take falling damage. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, anyway, so it doesn't so, happen. So instead, I cast fairy fire. <laughs> all right. So, onto the thing. All right. You get vaulted. Uh, I don't know if I get vaulted anymore. I you wanted to ask what you do. You get vaulted because why the heck not? You're sailing through the air. You cast fairy fire. Well, fairy fire first because I'm not an idiot. I aimed at <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah. And is that a targeted spell? Uh, it's a zone. It's a zone. It's, oh, yeah, I'm pulling up the zone. Good. Yeah, and then in it, the zone. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm pulling up the spell real quick because right. I, I, there's a saving throw to it. So. Yes. I will cast the spell and tell you the saving throw. One thing that is a pro player tip is yeah. that when you are not doing your turn, think about your turn so that you have it ready to go. Well, I didn't like, know. I'm going to cast this. Right. No, totally. Um, sorry. My confusion was on the flying through the air portion. So, uh, yes. the, um, uh, so it'll be a 14. Okay. Uh, 14. Uh, which step? It'll be a wisdom. All right. Wisdom save. More cat wisdom. Oh. All right. It does make it. Okay. It's so, now surrounded with purple. 
Okay, so it makes the save, but right. so it's still... What? It's oh, still, oh, wait, I thought you said it didn't make it. It rolled it an 18. It. Oh, no, then no, no, nothing happens. Okay, yeah. all right. Good to know. So, yeah, sorry. So you, you cast it, perhaps it's because of the, the fey nature of this creature, that the magic mm. sort of roils off of it, and mm. you're like, ah! Uh, and then, though, you feel fur and mass erupt all around you, and you are once again a bear. Okay, so I didn't land on it. Don't no, well, because <laughs> that would yeah, be an attack. So you sailing that's, through that's the air like... as a bear, and then you land very gently in its proximity. So I'm like, there. Uh, all right. Thank J- you for J- the flash. Uh, you're welcome for coming back. Uh, swing at it with my sword. Yes, that you can do. So you do. You're going to move to there. It's, yeah, move I'm moving. I'm moving. It. I'm moving right. towards it. Yeah, Shield yeah, cool. up. Shields up. Swinging at it with the sword. <laughs> Oof. Yep, that's another miss. Would get yeah, I need to just stop swinging with my swords. Uh, well, no, no. I mean, no. Please, 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 no there's it. a lot of. Divine so. interference with me swinging with a sword, apparently. Like, every now and then, Jaflash is like, ah, oh, I, I, I've seen people do this. I can right. do it. And it's like, nah, you know, I actually don't think I should be doing this. And in fact, hmm? I just toss my fucking sword. <laughs> I like, I, I, I swing with the sword and it just like, it goes. It, it just goes. It just goes? Yeah, it just goes. Okay. All right. We're not swinging are you, with swords Are anymore. you serious? I am 100% serious. All right. Well, this, so, is like, hey. this is like somebody telling me that I don't need to swing with a fucking sword. So, A, is what is, uh, is. you're right. It doesn't feel... It doesn't feel natural. It doesn't it feel It really right. doesn't. You've never quite understood on some basic level. No, it's not. Uh, when you swing it, you miss, and you're like, what the fuck? Who cares? <laughs> and when you let go of your sword, it just whoosh, flies Perfect. through one of the planar portals. <laughs> <laughs> Even better. It just goes. It just goes. <laughs> yep. Right? Gone. And right. Gone. Um, like I was never there. I, like, I was never there. I now, love it. You moved, did it. Okay, so that's what happens. I, the I, beast. I, the I beast. Really, I actually feel like I'm like, yes. shit, what a, what a sword off so my back. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it feels so, so good. All right. On that note, Frunk. Where, so where, just saw where, flash where is everybody sword. relative to <laughs> yeah, my five like, foot this cubic sword. fucking daggers? Uh... <laughs> So, <laughs> for the sake of discussion, yeah, it's here. Okay. But well, we can get through the door because the door is wider. Than yes, mine. yes. Okay. I assumed you okay. dropped it. it. Yeah. 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 I, was, I was trying to put it in that place where if he wanted to come into this space, he would have to you go through You effectively it, but... took away the straight bull rush yeah, okay. from it, which is great. Okay, but then you guys just rushed right in. <laughs> To, to the side, yeah. and then yeah. threw a sword away. There's a saying about the type <laughs> of people who rush in. It's really right. shocking. Well, no, you just sort of yeah. climbed over me awkwardly. Wise people. Wise yeah. people rush right. in. Right. Right. That's the saying. Uh, <laughs> warriors. And heroes. So, um, it's not mine. Three sword in that. Clean your board. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so... I can, I... can I, like, grab the crown... The diode, yeah, or that. Yeah, yeah. The circle. And, and run up and slap diode. it on that kitty cat's temples. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> drop, yeah. Drop this happens in literally every D&D campaign I've been in. If you introduce a hat that gives vision, and this comes up a lot, <laughs> it will, doesn't really the play, players either. will attempt to put it on the first enemy they meet. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty solid plan. I mean, it's pretty cool and it's and it's and it was I don't know. I've, very put, I've put VR goggles on a dog. And they don't really seem to give a <laughs> shit. <laughs> so, but you tried. Try. But you tried. <laughs> of course I tried. The dog was like, what the hell is this thing? And I'm like, here it is, dog. And the dog was like, that's fucking weird. Hey, okay. what can I piss on? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, so first off, where where is the diadem, the circlet? Did you you had it, didn't you? No, I think Varys. Wait, had it. No. I was, I was oh, the last one to okay, use it. Less. Okay, yeah. So I shout back at one of them by the thing. Drop mm-hmm. a disc and <laughs> drop <laughs> it. And I rush in and try and. God, I wish we really could play some music right yeah. now, like an actual drop a disc, <laughs> if only for usage rights. All right. right. Yeah. What music would we play? What would we play? We'd have to go get Nathan Grigg. Yes, that's what we're going to do. Nathan and Todd can hook us up. We we need a house band. We, couldn't we play Shadow of War music? I mean, I'm just we saying, by example, could, or any. I'm pretty sure we could. Uh, we have to. 
And plus, the whole Warner Brothers catalog is at our disposal, right. isn't it? Yeah, I doubt that. All right. <laughs> That's not really how IP works. So, <laughs> if one of you happens to be a copyright lawyer... <laughs> so, I am not a lawyer! So but I can tell so, you for sure that's not what we should do. Diedrich, Diedrich you're going to be next, and then Idol, you're going to be next. You hear Frunk yell out, Drop a disc! <laughs> I see you still have the circlet. All right. Mm-hmm. So, we'll do... Um, we're going to do an opposed dex check. Okay. Like because okay, it's that, it's I, I feel it. It's right. It's you're sort of trying to put this thing on this creature's head. You're trying to put a leash on a cat. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Right. That's you're trying to put VR the... dog goggles on an angry dog. God, I <laughs> that to Can I argue like a sleight of hand or a, or an athletics? Well, here's what I'll do. If you if what <laughs> what is you can do sleight of hand or athletics um, as your best role. That's fine. Um, but you but also. It, Technically, this is no. A just the, I mean, because my spells is, work differently from yours. Right. I don't. I don't have access to all of them. I mean, so I only printed out mine. Is is it? It's in solid form, like it's prepping the attack against yeah. us, and we saw it. And no, it's right. shifted back. It's displaced. Oh. Basically, uh, if it's displaced all the time, unless somebody hits it. So actually, you might want to hold this. Yeah. Do you want to okay. ready this? Because basically, okay, I'm gonna ready it, it and yeah. say. Yeah, I'm, right. Because as soon as somebody hits it, then for the entire rest of the round until the end of its next turn, it will be not displaced, right. and then you're not at disadvantage. And I get okay. two chances to hit it. Is the off. Okay. And that's why I do wish the fairy fire would have worked, because that would have been yeah, easy as well. That's the downside to it. Elf, you should have just focused on that. So you can use this one. You could hold it. The jumping. Could totally hold it. And then you can make a regular attack. Sure. Okay. Right. I thought I was going to pancake. Why the jumping? I was really just hoping. Spelling. I was really hoping it would pancake because end of its next turn. I'm yep. big and heavy. Yeah. Now you are. Yeah. Right, so, so then I just yes. take a big long sword swipe while I prepare right. my crown. Do it. You have got it in your hand. I right, remember you gotta roll this uh, disadvantage. Oh, that is the difficult. Well, that's an eight. <laughs> yeah, that's that's really what makes the displacer beast. It's, it's thing is mm-hmm. the displacing. Rolling disadvantage after being reminded about it after hitting is even I mean, way it's, worse. It's even worse. <laughs> this is what we should do all the time. So, so just to be just clear, for the feels bad. Just to the feels bad. It, it's totally disadvantaged for the rest of this combat unless somebody hits and then I can tell you it's. Dead. Okay, so. I'm going to. I, I want to. It's an axe range, like throwing axe yeah. range. I, I want to burn my inspiration to cancel that's out the disadvantage thing. on the first one. Oh, that's another thing. Yeah. Uh, so I want to describe this in a cool way if it's going to burn inspiration. Uh, I saw J Flash just let the sword go, and as you turned your body, as you turned your back to the beast, my axe is just coming in behind you. Right. You've got another. So I'm. <laughs> <laughs> You're like Thor. I'm like Captain Marvel. Yeah. I give you the little eyebrow. Yes. So that's, that's a 16 to hit. That hits. Okay. Uh, for only five damage, but we've pinned it down. You have pinned it. You know where it is. So that triggers Front your thing in the middle of my turn, right? Did, well, did you you ready it? That, you ready an action? Right, well, actually, you swing your sword. No, I, okay. you swing your sword. Well, now I'm confused. Yeah, if you All use right, your so, action, you so can't also ready. You will be I able follow to follow the DMs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's always Mark's fault. But I meant no. Yeah. I meant when it's to split. When it's not. When it's hit. Then I can go. Then you can right. go. Sure. Yes. Sure. We'll go with it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'll just take my second attack. But yeah, you can tell me to hold it. You can say to hold an action. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's a twenty to hit for that another hits. four damage. Under the four damage. Yeah, I rolled ones on both my damage. Nice. Yes. Good Wait. job. However, it is now. I roll fours to it's hit. It's now unfazed. <laughs> you should switch that. We're I don't. Much better the other way. Yes. <laughs> it's your turn, and you're well hidden. I am. Uh, first, first I drop a disc. All right. Thank you. <laughs> you feel <DJ> idle <laughs> back on your hands as it comes live. <laughs> You guys were in the 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 like, I was, Beautiful. I was gonna I was gonna drop an offbeat there, but he stopped. <laughs> Alright. So Okay. Was that an action or can I do my attack? Uh you do your attack. Okay. You drop this. Yes. Since I was in stealth. So it's a bonus action. There's the yes. u- there's the use item for yes. fourth yeah. action in your economy. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. So let's see. Since I was in stealth, I get advantage on this. 
And he's held in place. It's, it's also, it's also, it's not. Holy shit. Nice. Those are pretty good scores. Those are really that good. That would have hit with disadvantage. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's a crit blaze. Yeah, with disadvantage, that was a 23. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, And because I had advantage, I get my sneak attack damage. Holy wow. fuck. So that's... Indeed. Uh, that's 20 damage in total. That's amazing. Yeah. With an arrow. That um, was really good. Uh, that wasn't even really a plus one arrow. arrow. <laughs> that actually just buries itself in the uppermost part of the spine of its hunched back, and it's it screams, well, like a cat in water, frankly. Right. It doesn't like that. And I'm thinking more, you know, Frank, I should have given you advantage for, for just the cool, inspired use of the environment. So give yourself inspiration. Inspiration, I mean. And then you can use that for whatever. Okay. Because you because you're you're yeah. That's a really good use of inspiration for Hold on to that. Um oh, I use my bonus action to hide again. Alright. That's very good. You are no longer you're still not That's hidden. the same I rolled before. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends on what he rolls to perceive me. You should throw your hiding away through one of the portals. It feels really good. <laughs> yes. Alright, two but tentacles then, but then it would work. <laughs> two tentacles whipped out from the whip out from the beast. Actually, going for your flash. And okay, flash. so I am going to I'm going to use a reaction. Okay, uh, to protect him. I'm not there. Or whoever from, who's from. Uh, protect Frank. Okay. Appreciate it, uh, but so <laughs> if, if he's aiming at Frank, he'll roll at a di- or the, they will roll at a disadvantage. Sweet. So let's do yours first. Then one tentacle actually does strike out at Frank. I'm not kidding. You. Can you see those? That's, that's, wow. Fuck you. I, Did you that, get two 20s? I got a 20 and a 19. 19. <laughs> well, you get to choose the 19. I know that's <laughs> actually, that's really yeah, good. You that the is really good. That, that is, is huge. Good. Because that might have dropped Frank. That's true. <laughs> that's true. For a third. Does, is that tool pendant? It's a target jury. It's amazing. A death is magnet. it with me forever now? It's a <laughs> promise. Is what it is. <laughs> 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 it's a threat. It's a threat. It's the whip period. Yeah. You're going to need this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I'm just, I... All right. So let's just get this out of the way. Uh, totally so seven. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> 11 points of damage. Seven is the blunt force, and four is the uh, pierce, if it matters. Okay. So one tentacle bruises you, and then it, it tears back. Flash. Sure. Uh, 10 does not hit. No. All right. It would need to be a 20. It would need to be <laughs> nice. As you so boom. So it just. Ricochets right off of your shield soundly. Yeah, it's a large, like... meaty tentacle. Like, boom, bam! Get out of here, beast. All right. Uh, J- Varus, you're up. Javaris is ready Javaris to go. Is up. Well, really, is it that kind of... <laughs> That's kind of what it is now. And... So, uh, I go... Brangelina. <laughs> Brangelina. <laughs> I, so I go, af- I go, go after our squee line. And uh, <laughs> attack from behind. Is that a... Oh, that's that's, that's yeah. <laughs> all right. Good. So go for it. You cool. move around. You do it. So I start with um, that was. Does a nine hit? It does. Not. You should throw away your paw. <laughs> <laughs> it does not. Everybody I'm, rolling. Your damage. god does not right. want you to have hands. Well, <laughs> it's even lower. So oh, that was right. a five. Okay. So so I miss my, with my claw in that yeah. regard. <laughs> It and, uh, through the phantasmic image of the beast. Right, and I can't throw my claw off, unfortunately. I would go through the portal with it. <laughs> and uh, so I rolled the 20 uh, for the bite. Oh, no. And I rolled a 10, so that's plus no, that's 4, dis- so 14. You have 14 hits. That's 14 hits. And that so means it's not displaced anymore. Cool, so the bite goes in, that's a D8. Well, luckily four. I'm up next, and I'm not going to swing at it, so it's perfect. <laughs> that's 12 damage. Shield dash. But I'm going to put How much damage? Crown 12 damage. damage. You can bite it. it. I'm going to bite that. Cool. I'm going to shield bash Look it or bite it. it. I'm going to erase the other place <laughs> right. on my sheet that says Displaced or not, this critter's seen better days. Mm-hmm. It's seen better days. It's looking that way. Uh, next up, Je Flash. Uh, I'm going to hold ready to protect my fellow folks. So All right. I'm just going to hold. Maybe get, maybe like get in into a direction. defensive... Yeah, actually, beginning. you could you could fight with dodge, or yeah, you could oh, yeah. dodge, and so then it's uh, rolling a disadvantage against you. That sounds great. Can I help someone else dodge? 
Um, because that sounds even know, better. <laughs> you can help someone push them out of the you way. You can help someone I, attack. Oh yeah, right? you can just grant yeah. advantage, can't you? Yeah, help. Uh, which Here we go. Once you yeah, distract a creature within, you can d- distract a creature within oh. five feet of you. The next attack roll of an ally of yours makes that uh, makes attack against that creature with advantage. Holy yes. dynamite! Yes, Boom. Yeah. I'm doing it. So well, you're just like, come to cat, I'm dynamite. Yeah, yeah. Chase yeah. flashes every turn from now on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dancing behind the sword. It's actually nice. a pretty cool character build. Yeah, I right. think it's really interesting. You're just like distracting yeah, and I mean, interposing. You're just that's, a that's what buff. the uh, the warlord class was in fourth edition. Yeah, right? they don't really have that anymore. But that nice. idea of like just debuffing other people and just Give, like giving other people turns, yeah. All right, all right. That's what. Well, then, Frog. Here we go. All right. No so while you're it, so... I'm gonna charge in, do some athletic dodging around its tentacles, trying to stop me, and leap towards its head to try and pin the crown on its temples. That's awesome. Let's do it. Uh, so opposed dex uh, or or opposed whatever your best like sleight of hand so. dex. Is the advantage the is the advantage for this though, or how's this working? Perfect. Seventeen. Uh, I got a seven. It. He's fine. <laughs> well, you should. Why are you? You're rolling a spin down die. It's not a spin down die. It's this is actually a. This is a D and D die. The oh, skull is a twenty. Right. And the one is opposite. That's how you can always tell. Right. Twenty. Jay Flash. Yeah. What were you saying for the? Oh, I'm a. I my fighting styles. I took protection. Instead of shield master, yes, I I didn't know there was a shield master. And oh, that might that might be a chin. That might be a feat. Cool. That might be a feat. Yeah, to a fourth uh, level. If, if oh, that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what All right. I feel like what Wicked is describing, unless I'm reading it wrong, is um, what the protection finding style does. Oh, yeah, yeah, it right? does disadvantage. Oh yeah, shield yeah. master is a feat. Cool. Okay. Thank yeah. you. That's definitely what I'll do. I mean, don't do it because you can already do it. I can double do it. So, do you, yeah. do you want to roll the damage? Does it? Oh, does it say? Uh, Wait, awesome. how does that work? Because, because you still only really have, have one reaction per turn. Yeah, Lovely team. Now you one go. conversation because at a time. Beast. It doesn't even have the mental faculties yeah. to really yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> cheat. Eight yeah. points of sonic phonic <laughs> damage. <laughs> it starts crying. It starts crying. It starts feeling, <laughs> I've seen things. So... Uh, you see Frunk's hand very deftly reach out, no. put the, uh, the circlet there. onto the creature's head because it's actually there, and then you see its eyes just widen, like now it's really freaking out, and you realize it's seeing a ton of images, and it's somewhat stunned. <laughs> <laughs> Rabago wants it known that Hyla is typing now. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Hey, all right. How's combat going? Yeah. Uh, so I'll tell you how combat's going. One we're, of the things we're arguing with chat. It's no, hard. it's not. It's, we're just we're having a discussion. Yeah. Party. Not One a, of the not things a... that um, that happens actually <laughs> oh, is yeah, that yeah. creatures that fail that save actually are stunned. <laughs> so the displacer beast mm. is now stunned. That's actually oh. a huge deal. That means that it's not displacing. It means well, it can't. Wait, did my help help? I helped. It almost with help. It all helped. <laughs> It all hot. Uh, no, I didn't, you, I didn't attack with advantage on that. I was so it's the next. Stunned creatures are incapacitated, can't move, uh, can only speak falteringly or go. Uh, the creature automatically feels strength dex throws and attack rolls against the creature have advantage. So right. welcome to the jungle. Oh yeah, displacer. <clears throat> all right, that means that uh, Dietrich, you're up. So as Frunk was putting the the crown on the cat. My returning axe was just coming back to my hand, and I was running forward to meet it halfway, and I'm leaping into the air and driving it down into the cat. That's a uh, 18 to hit. That hits. For 10 damage. That kills it. What the shit? How does it die? At, right as Frunk put the crown down, the axe comes right between Frunk's hands and <laughs> splits the skull. Splits it like an it apple. Just, it just gets that moment of the pure eyes yeah. from the <sighs> response, like, and then it's like an ecstatic vision mind as it just appears. It from saw its own just death vision from just existence before it happened. <laughs> crack it, and with such force that the actually the dio the circle like actually pops even off of its feline skull and like clatters. <laughs> To the floor. I snatch it with my mage hand. Ooh, look at you. <laughs> sure. I'm okay. I like your style. I don't. Thanks. Cover all the bases. Um, and then the beast just 
thunk, and you actually get a moment to see it. It is a large thing, almost like a panther, very close cropped uh, fur, also velvety kind of a feel to it. The tentacles are just pure muscle with the uh, leaf shaped ten- caps at the end of the tendrils and razor sharp uh, spines that come out of it. It is a nasty piece of work. I'm going to take a tooth. Take a tooth. How could these uh, tentacles be like a whip? Like if I was to whip something, would it? If you were a much larger person, maybe because this is like. Or a much smarter bear. <laughs> <laughs> I, I imagine I'd be bared at this point. A bear with opposable thumbs. <laughs> but, but yeah, these, th- these things are super beefy. And pick up the face. Yeah, these things are like super beefy, muscular tentacles. Not sure. yeah. uh, so the battle's over. The creature's dead. Skin the creature. It looks like the library. You understand how to use the data center, or whatever you call it, right? Like the place, the. the that uh, is definitely what we call it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's funny? I just think, like, there's so many references. Room, <laughs> there's so yeah. many references that I realize it seems like it's a modern analog, but this is like, it's just sheer high tech, high magic tech. Mm-hmm. Uh, and yes, it's, it's a repository of their knowledge. You do feel like this part of the area, you, you've got the, the gist of. And you can certainly, if you want to, think later and tell me if there are certain discs that you want to look for very quickly that you don't have a moment now in the session, but I kind of want to move on from this. Sure. So you've conquered this room. Cool. cool. Yeah. Just as a reminder to everyone about a character that hasn't shown up again yet, but is still with us, I go and high-five my mating statue. Your statue! Oh! <laughs> you know still, what the thing is? It's still with you, actually. That's absolutely correct, but because you were thinking about it, it just went into a corner and it was sad. It's, it's sad. It's a sad statue. It's not cheering him on? Huh? It wasn't cheering him on? He's, it's it's inspected near, all the other statues near, around the edge of the room. He was like talking to the other statues. Yeah. When, when we're not looking, you're shield. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you remember it was near field empathy. You had to actually, it had to be close enough to activate. So when I come up to high five it, it turns around from one of those other statues with a like, yeah, What's up with these guys? <laughs> <laughs> when you move more than around five feet away, it actually goes in there is what really happens. It's like, you move and it's just like, and then when people move towards it with emotion, it starts to pantomime. So, the room dead beast. is dead beastie. And just to reiterate, Idol, what you really figured out was, gosh darn it, if this thing isn't a vertical conveyance of some kind, yep. probably pointed down. Where to next, yep. Idol? Uh, well, I really need to investigate more of these discs. However, you can use the... Put a bookmark in that. <laughs> yes, absolutely. You, you need, like, if you if you say later, like, I grabbed, like, we'll roll it. We'll, we'll backwards insert oh. some, some stuff into yeah. this. Yeah. Yes. And, I mean, if you want to tell me, like, some things you look for now, that's cool. I mean, well, I'm not, I'm still not clear on how we, if we can even tell it's what, true. what discs are what things. What you would do is, and this is why we could, we could do this for... Mark made a room that is more interesting than I, I know, I really... <laughs> there, there Consider truth. both in and out of character. <laughs> oh, no, 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 100%. That's why I realized... Welcome, welcome to game cap. design, Mark. <laughs> oh, oh, no, 100%. Why, like, why is the playtester staying in there for two hours? What <laughs> is <laughs> shit, man? <laughs> it's, Get out of there! It's, 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 sometimes you have to just follow your sword or pencil and just gracefully go, um, yeah. There's on. definitely a Steam review of this live that says 100 hours, I got bored. No, I got yeah. bored! <laughs> <laughs> I, I was in here for 300 hours! And then, you know, I just got bored. <laughs> I just was hoping for more, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, that's hilarious. So, um, here's here's how the, the process works, and then what we can do is we can retcon play this. Mm-hmm. Because is, um, what you literally have to do is try a disc, mm-hmm. survive, or not survive. <laughs> do the, do the, the stakes are high. No, no, no. But, but, well, the thing is, it does do some real damage. So yeah. it's not actually without a toll. Sure. This is like you actually succeed, successfully do the, the whiz save so you don't take the mental damage. And then, like I was saying to Frank, being able to find out where this disc is informationally in relationship to the entire sequence of relation. Like if you... Mm-hmm put your head into a fire hose that was an encyclopedia volume M and you're like, I'm trying to go back to, you know, uh, giants. It's like, That's not an M. Right, it's not an M. <laughs> and so you're just trying to like drag yourself back over to that and then approximate where the discs would be mm-hmm. in the thing. So it's not impossible, but it is a super hard mental yeah. feat. <laughs> so, but, but, so what we can do is we can do a little side role play that you tried that for a little bit of time and then yep. plus, the good thing is you're belaying the damage like a credit card. You're 
after <laughs> later, you know. Yeah. Like, we we exit down. the dungeon and Idol suddenly collapses from the damage she took three <laughs> oh, hours well, ago. That, that, that bill, the bill just came in. <laughs> we haven't stopped yet. We have. Okay. <laughs> so when we come back, let's everybody change that, position that, and start speaking in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> we should pretend like that's always been the way it is. I don't know Spanish. <laughs> is Italian okay? Italian is awesome. Are we back? We're back. Uh, We're back. Yay. Thank you for being back. Sorry about that. <laughs> so you've got tonight really faulty, to faulty stairs. Uh, it, 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 yeah, yeah. And then everything is fine. <laughs> I am not going to be super precise about this, but I just want to give you a sense of what I mean. Next, yeah. Mark is drawing another circle. I am. There's nope, no nope. weird. We don't need to see it. <laughs> we really don't. Another circle. <laughs> oh, no, we, <laughs> we really, really, really don't. We really, really, really. Every this one's more of a donut than a hamburger. Well, this one's more like a stomach. Actually, this one's more like the, uh, the, the white like walkers. It's like the spaghetti um, spiral. spiral. It's a neuron. The spiral. You see, now you, now you get it. This property. Right. Yep, that's, that, that one's fine. <laughs> and that's that's a tip for everybody at home as a DM. Just rip off every other thing yeah. that you can possibly get your grubby little hands on. Yep. Yeah, it's not going to be the same. It's not. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> what is that? Nobody yeah. knows what that is. I'm sure that, yes, that is really all there is to that. And the center <laughs> is, 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 is that same glyph again? As uh, we're yes. on that glyph, we yeah. get down the elevator. But what Idol very confidently believes, the difference, what happens is shifting in the pattern is that now she could actually pour it up or down. Mm. Mm. What you're saying is I have to now protect Idol. Because she's the one who's going to get us out of You know, that's a really good point, actually. Idol is the only person currently that actually knows how to manipulate. I take mm-hmm. a step closer to Idol. Yeah, but you better not let me die. Yeah. That is a fact. <laughs> how How is the party doing uh, in health, well-being? Randy. Invigorated by recent victory. Awesome. Feeling kind of weak? Oh, do you need? Do you want? Would you like some hands laid upon you? you? I would some, love to feel your hands upon me. Yes, this would be an excellent opportunity <laughs> to take a very uncomfortable looking bear. Uh, mm-hmm. I could do up to ten, if you would like, and then be wonderful. I'm out. So, ten. Okay. And I'll save the spell. I'll save my cure light wounds for later. So I um, give you a nice mas- massage, some shiatsu. Whatever divine suturing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I'd like to start checking out the. These are hallways coming off of it that yeah. sort of curve around. Yeah. I'd like to check the entrance for each hallway for any kind of markings, any, any kind of any random signs, giant beast, any any anything that differentiates the six entrances. Um, you actually do see some markings that sort of correspond to. Well, actually, you don't really... pointed to all six of them. Yeah, they each, they each have a marking <laughs> okay. thing that kind of like would be what we would have as signs inside of a, a room. Sure. So you think that's what it is. They but have some the... kind of unique identifier, but yes. I have no way to yeah. interpret what those mean. If only I had some way of randomly determining things between one and six. <laughs> <It's true. laughs> I have like a also... whole stack of things <laughs> that'll do that. There's um, a console next to the sigils here. <laughs> and this is something everybody sees, and certainly I know, I know you're, you're appraising things. It looks like there's it's um, there's a bar across several um, fine dials. <laughs> what? what was that? that? Was so they're laughing at the fact that uh, Twitch was worried that righteous fist was a sexual term. <laughs> Well, it is! We had to whitelist that. <laughs> right. Thanks, Urban Oh, Dictionary. that's so funny! <laughs> 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 so, um... <laughs> no, the, it's no, the term, it it's Jaflash You. Jaflash You? Oh, Flash You. We will flash, flash You. you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they, that was that the we permitted got, term was Jaflash oh. You. But Righteous yeah. Fist? I think that they both... <laughs> that's, that's a, that's a my peek mis- into your mind. <laughs> I don't Jared. think that's that weird of a peek. <laughs> <laughs> that is so weird. Okay. All right, <laughs> so... <laughs> my <God>. Fucking Twitch. <laughs> we love you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you may pick... Any passageway down that you would like? Could I actually smell the air for into a passive perception yeah, check to see like? Yeah, you're still a bear, right? Yeah. 
So I, I get an advantage on any perception so of what smelling. So let's do this. Yeah. Actually, you just point to what one would be the easiest way to do this. 15, and then Definitely 17. Was that one roll for each nostril? I have an advantage on <laughs> oh, smelling. Okay. So can I? So I have twenty. So, yeah, uh-huh. basically can I one sm- roll for each can, nostril. Right, <laughs> one roll for each. Yeah. So I, I've got a twenty, not a natural tw- twenty, but a twenty in smelling things. Okay, do yeah. I smell anything that I can basically hound dog point my face towards? Um. Yeah, there's actually um, one that you really, really, really dig. The smell of a lot right here. Right? Salmon rolls. Boop. This one. This one. Boop, 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 boop. That's the <clears> smell <throat> one. That's the one that, that Varys in bear form is like, that smells good. What is it, boy? <laughs> <laughs> I, I do the like. Flash his sword is down a well. <laughs> <laughs> I, whatever, whatever that like. Don't say it. Dog face. Don't say Leave it. it in the well. I come back with a sword in my mouth. <laughs> the sword is in a well of worlds. Yeah. It's not redeemable. Oh, the sword. I'd come back like speaking, or, like wearing bear armor, and be like, "I am a new bear now." Right, <laughs> Spearman. Call me Vera Spearman. Like, wow. All right. There, there was something else in this room before we leave, right? You said yes. Yeah, there was, so a, there was a console. It looked like there was control. This one wheel shaped. Uh, no, this actually looks like more of a just like. Well, a, I don't know what to do. Um, <laughs> yeah, like a console pedestal. Does it have like uh, levers? Uh, a lectern, if you will. Yeah, there's Are like a little bit of levers. Oh, there's there's like things that have puzzles, like, like things with actual mechanical interactions. Yeah, okay. And then there's a bar for some reason across all of it. All right. Yeah, I see. For I see things that are meant to be like gripped and moved, and I just grip them and move them. <laughs> all right. Um, the problem is that dang bar yeah. across it is keeping. Oh, them it's, it's, in place. it's got a uh, uh, a, the, bar. a bar, a bar, the, the tire, the the steering wheel lock that you get. I think yes. it's just what a you, steering what wheel you, lock. What, 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 what yeah, is your name lock. for that? What is your, what is your uh, mechanical? Your best mechanical, um, logical. I I have proficiency in navigators' tools and water vehicles. So basically, all, all my experience on ships with. The helm with, yeah, no, no, that totally makes sense. Yeah, that, that speedboats and mosquitoes. Um, in That's about instance, as technical though, as I get. I think then just a, a straight int. This straight is just int. like yeah, yeah, just like. So you're saying I'm I have nothing. I've not like, got oh, any skills. Whoa, that is a seventeen. So when you're actually looking at the rod, yeah, that goes across the actual. It's a rod now. It was a bar. It was until you, you actually upgraded. touch uh-huh. a particular area that you physically feel the indentation of it, and it just you feel a sense of this energy that was holding it in place, like stasis, mm-hmm. just relaxes, and suddenly, oh, it's just a rod. Oh yeah, yeah, that's weird. And then when you accidentally, or not accidentally, but you you press the thing and accidentally, again, that's fair. It's <laughs> like ah, oh, that's weird, and now it's just hung in the air. Oh. Considerable strength that does not move. Oh, so like oh. it's no longer attached to anything, but I can't move it again? No, in fact, if you let it I, go, it, yeah, it's it floats. in there perfectly. I hit that same warm spot mm-hmm. on it again. Now you just got it. Woo, it's fun. Yeah. I don't know what we're going to do with that, but it's going to be fun. That. I'm going to do some weird shit. <laughs> 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 No, I want. I want to just look I at like, it. Like, oh, like, I can't listen. Don't tell me. You're like, go ahead, take it, and then you click the button. And yeah, yeah. Like, oh, here you go, idol, and I click it. So I can't move. <laughs> All right, yeah. And you probably didn't hey, see me do that yet. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's all right. It's kind of heavy, and I I grab it with both hands and sort of subtly. Yeah, lime it. Lime it. Do like oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Let me it's, just. Uh, I'll, I'll lug this around for you. Okay, I'm gonna sleight of hand and steal the dagger from you now. <laughs> uh, so perception. Yes. Well, oh, that's still a t- yeah, wait I, a fourteen. I only got a seven. Yeah, you totally That's pickpocket the fish dagger. Great. And actually, that was so uh, adept. I don't, I don't know, Diedrich, if you even know that. It's right? going to be a couple days before I realize the fish dagger's gone. You got this, like, cool rod. Well, I've got a new toy. <laughs> <laughs> walk away. And I was like, nice. thank you. That's exactly what nice. I was. What are yeah. the stats on this okay. dagger? Again? All right. So but, now. But uh, you for, got for the bar out of the way. Mm-hmm. Oh, I completely forgot that I was trying to do something else. Okay. I'm just looking okay, at the cool. bar now. Okay. You know what you could call that, uh, Diedrich? You could just call that, um, it seems like an immovable 
Right. It, yeah, I did sort of divine that as its name. <laughs> yeah, that's really I mean, it's more of a movable, immovable rod. Yeah, but, but yeah. most rods are movable, so they, the part <laughs> worth mentioning is the immovable <laughs> part. <laughs> that's the uncanny part. Um, I yeah. actually think most rods probably are pretty static. I mean, not at first. Eventually. All right. <laughs> But so are we on a long enough time. <laughs> this, this is getting dangerously close to righteous fist territory. <laughs> so, uh, yes, that's what happens. Uh, Varys, you've got a really nice smell coming from that hallway, and you've got a First time I've heard that and, with my character's name. And, <laughs> you got a really nice smell. <laughs> you should have heard this. is true, because it's not your... You smell it, something else next. <laughs> yeah, the console, yes. Cool. So, right. party. So, I... All I can do is kind of like grumble and try to get your guys' attention. Mm. Yeah. I'll actually, you. you very dramatically are sniffing the air. Oh, the oh, meal of it, I oh, suppose. In that regard. <sighs> so I'm dramatic. I can go over and J flash palm over. <laughs> Come on. That way. Sure. All right. Yeah, I'll follow. Right. I'm staying close to um, middle. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to only in and out. investigate this console thing. Mm-hmm. It oh. looks. It, Looks like you can slide things up, move things over. Can I tell it all what they do? You could try an arcana. Um, just roll and tell me what seems to be your day for arcana. That's okay, Ooh. 19. Yeah. Um, it looks like it controls fluctuation or, or an amount of intensity. So, location and amount of intensity of some kind of an effect. Something, okay. Of which there are many. Okay. Right. So intensity, location. I'm de- I'm I'm definitely gonna draw a little diagram of what the the various options on oh. this on this are. Mm-hmm. Did you you rolled? Uh, you say close. To, you nineteen. Say, yeah, nineteen's really good. Um, it's sort of mapped out to uh, kind of a, a rotational sort of like a circular <laughs> uh, area mm-hmm. where probably there are effects. Uh huh. Indeed. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, what else to do? Yeah. Well, I can't be quiet. I... We left the music playing downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Someone listening the diode is still. <laughs> okay, so position wise, can I tell what is close to us and what is not? Not really. Close. Not really. Okay. And actually, that is an interesting thing, too, is that with just the vaguest sense of this, you feel like, in this instance, spatial coordinates aren't really what this is about. I mean, like, actual three-dimensional spatial. Yeah. 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 Well, it's probably... It probably has to do with the planes. These and that's as far as I've gotten. Yeah, these yeah. guys are walking uh, down the hall. Yeah. That, that could be totally fair. That could be actually really what, what you can divide from this. Yep. You you are, at the end of the day, um, in the place of a, you know, like a super magically advanced race that has disappeared from this world. <clears throat> and, and this is super outside your camp. So yeah. it's amazing you're doing as well as you are. I'm still surprised <laughs> that I'm on. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> you don't have to be. <laughs> um, just to kind of speed up, because we got a little bit more, yeah. and I definitely want to want to get to. So, um, what is your intent here? What, what would you? What would you? What would you want to do? What do you? Or, like, I think we're next that way. Like, well, explore that hallway. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we'll just like so. I go, so you explore down that hallway, um, and you actually get to an area that uh, is. Uh, a larger, and this is where actually the the uh, the hallway itself, which is only ever like ten feet wide, maybe at any given time, the ubiquitous Dungeons and Dragons distance for halls, <clears throat> it curves in this very smooth, imperceptible, or not imperceptible, but it just curves very gracefully um, to your left as you go down the hallway, and then it opens up into a large uh, circular, semicircular room, similar to the other ones. But this one is just like all kinds of large metallic uh, implements. There are different types of illustrations that look like they're on the wall and some are on the floor that actually show scenes. And and then you realize it's not paper, it's not parchment, it's not any kind of a thing. It's actually uh, like living pictures on the floor that actually show um, vast mountain ranges. You see tons of 
beautiful beasts. It's just, and this specifically is partly why, like, you have this sense of this place. Like, this is a place where beasts truly rule and, and be at home here. It doesn't even feel like any place you've been to in the build. None of the deepest forests you've ever been to. Nothing feels like this arboreal sense of vast open space meant for furry kind. But these are almost like museum displays. This is like a, some kind of an artist's rendering, not not like a photograph or a capture. Or, um, or is it... The images themselves are incredibly real. Sure. Um, it doesn't look like a portal, which you do have experience with, so you can be like, that no. looks like a <laughs> portal like before. It does not look like that. Okay. What it looks like, though, is just extremely, again, I'm going to use a modern reference, but yeah. like extremely high def pictures, which okay. were you, really, I mean, you know, artist renderings notwithstanding, this is incredible. Level mm -hmm. of detail. In fact, it probably does freak you out at first. This would be yeah. the level of like a masterful illusion spell. Yes, so exactly okay. right. Exactly. Right. I'm thinking we're not getting paid enough for this whole thing. Yeah, a um, oh, no. um, look. Uh, is there a thing in this place that when you see it, you're going to say, good job, guys, you found it. I'm going to go call the boss and get us paid now. Or is this more of a, I'll know it when I see it kind of thing? To be perfectly honest, right now, I am thinking that we will know it because we will be done plumbing the circumference of this entire building, which I do not feel we have done yet. There is already the down, sigil, the BG, I'm not yet gone. But as far as this goes, yes, this is very lovely and weird. I want to lie. Very weird. All right, so we've got five more hallways on this floor and then the down sigil. Can you on? Okay, let's do it. All right. All right. We'll do it. We'll do it orderly and quickly. So mm. as you go around, what you realize is that this is, and I'll show you the map later because it'll be fun, but it's a very weirdly internally... Uh, the composition of the hallways and the rooms, they're all weird, they're weird angles. Uh, they twist in different kinds of ways. You believe, yes. I wanted to ask if this room was reminiscent of the Feywilds. Uh, this is not. Okay. Uh, in fact, that's a really good call out. It's not at all. Where the Feywild is like a twilight, a beautiful twilight, almost like a black light poster, right? Of like, <laughs> right? This is, this is daylight and this is like just vast mountain ranges deep, large trees, and it, it does, it feels like a place where, like, the beasts of the world would feel almost like uh, uh, beast lands, if you will. Um, but as you explore around, it's a bit disconcerting, actually, because of just the way, it's very hard to, to map, if anybody's even mapping that way. Um, you go to a place that feels like it was an homage to glorious battlefields. Uh, you go to another place <clears throat> that feels like it was dedicated to the elements themselves. I hope that's not coming through any kind of a bad way. Uh oh, we're rebooting. So anyways, yeah, it's like the different elements. You, you actually see places that um, I think you all from the build have concept of um, the hells, the abyss. I think that is even just to frighten children. Like people talk about that kind of thing. You see some really dark terrifying areas. And what it really looks like with all the different equipment stuff is not just a museum, <clears throat> but actually like rooms dedicated to um, environmental survival in these places. Uh, and again, you're just kind of perceiving the edge of the purpose of these rooms, but environmental survival uh, and things like that. And, and uh, yeah, navigating to, from, on. In, in any of these rooms, <clears throat> do we see anything that would make us think anything alive has been here this place looks pretty, pretty quiet, but <clears throat> this does happen as you're going through at a couple moments, at a couple different apertures uh, that you're standing at and looking at, uh, a wind kind of blows through, not one that you feel physically, but that you just feel tickling you mentally, just like, and with it whispers, not dissimilar to what the gibbering mouthers were, if you remember that back. And then they disappear, uh, and then, actually, as you continue on... Um, the flash, you hear someone say, like, literally, you hear this in your mind, the gods are dead to you. Oh. I don't know if Stream could hear that. The it's... gods are dead to you. And you Yeah, but what that. did they say to Jay Flash? <laughs> <laughs> Just in general. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's what you hear. You okay. don't know exactly where that came from. Uh, you're exploring a little bit because I'm, I'm kind of like summarizing like what all of these different rooms for. Um, Frank, at a different point, you actually feel the whispers and then you hear, uh, you will die alone and unheralded. 
<laughs> Spoil a little bit more. We'll say you're like two thirds of the way through the whole thing. There's, uh, you are ashamed of your true form, but nothing will ever accept you. <laughs> All right. His little bear ears peek up. Bear, are you crying? Um, <laughs> I'll follow you with the alligator. Uh, and this kind of goes around a little bit. Or a dove. Or a dove. Oh, that's a good one. That's a better one. That could um, be a, like a cry of a goal. Passive perception. Let's see. Can we tell you your passive perception? Oh. 13. 14. 12. Um, 13. As a, as a bear, is 13. <laughs> Voices don't say anything to us. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're, we're, we're so really people cool. beat 13, right? <laughs> yeah, 13. Yes. So you can say whether you were sharing that information or not. Some some of the observations were a little bit more piercing than others, things you may have secretly suspected or not about yourselves. Uh, but in any case, the people that, that had the 13, you actually see padding just outside of the easy sight around these bent rooms are critters that look like this. There are two. You can pass around one, two. Um, they lope a bit. They are very, very weird and unpleasant looking creatures. Um, when you actually see the one crawling, people that got the 13, you see that they've just been kind of ghosting you right out of sight and these red luminous eyes that blink and they're kind of like looking at you. So you see that these things are here. 13s were idle. All right. So you see this. And you're still kind of maybe potentially a little haunted by the cutting words. Yeah. Uh, party? Mm -hmm. uh, I would like to murder one of these things. <laughs> Perhaps both. They are looking yeah. pretty squishy and yeah. murderable. I'm, I'm waiting for the team. I'm... Yeah. I, 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 I turn to the rest of the group to see <laughs> if anyone else saw them. <laughs> I don't know. You, you saw that disgusting creature, right? Low growl out of bear. I want to sneak up mm. on one. You want to sneak up on one of those disgusting creatures? Yep. Well, good luck. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> the way that you could do that, probably, you think, because <clears throat> you're getting a, a feel for this room, is uh, that you would probably, or this whole floor, is that you would go into one of the larger floors, and then mm -hmm. you could actually just probably there. Yeah. If that's what they were truly doing, is following you. Yeah. I'm wondering if by disgusting that. creatures you meant bears or to flash. <laughs> I'm a bear. Bears are adorable. Such a flash. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's more. There's Others. more. There's always more. That time that we saw that. Uh, all right, yeah. So yep. you move into the room. Sorry, yep. party. I was just rebooting for the second half here. So uh, you move into the room. Sure. So I will roll to hide. Way. All right, yes. That's pretty good. That's a 22. All right, and, and where were you at? Just sort of at the entrance of one of... Uh, what are the places? One of the, like, one of the rooms. Because we saw right. them as we were coming back yeah. into the hub, yeah, right? Back yeah, back in the hub. So actually, see that? All right, they're padding in. Um, when you get there, you actually, they, weirdly, these freaky red eyes, like, mm -hmm. scan, like, they see you, but then they see that you see them. They have incredible they vision, apparently. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, actually, through... Not but the depth, though. <laughs> it's at the same time, right? So we're okay. just going to roll straight initiative, because they're basically, like, jigs up. Yeah. Battle is joined. Fine. Is that, do we, we see them? Yeah, sorry, initiative. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> do we see them? Nice. Uh, initiative. <laughs> you see, actually, that's a really good point, but I'm going to say yes, because when these guys tell you that they're setting up some kind of an ambush, they would allow you to do that. All right, does anybody beat a 20? 20! Did you really? Nice. Yeah, raw 20. Fresh from How the about a 15? <laughs> There's no preservatives in my D20. Uh, 15? On GMO organic 20. <laughs> uh, anybody need a 15? No. Uh, um, 10? Yes. yes. Uh, right. 13. 13? Nice idol. 13. Well, my dex bonus is higher. Oh, that's for sure. True. True. You actually rolled a 9. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled All right. A Good job. <laughs> Very strong. Yeah, I'm a 5. I still go first. I know. 8. <laughs> I barely noticed them. Uh, That's probably fair, though. That's probably fair. These things are a little weird and stealthy. 
Um, I could smell right. them. Do we, do we really think we should kill these things? What are they doing? You've got six seconds to ask me that question before I start. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fair point. You don't, you're not exactly sure what they are. It yeah. seems like what they were doing is they were following you around and somehow divining things about you, even like dark truths yeah. that maybe just that you speak, suspect, fear, whatever. Yeah, I and guess. Just bring them back to you, which is a little malevolent. Whether or not I would attack but, them might depend on specifically what they said about me. Like, what's the worst thing they said about? Yeah, you, we didn't get. Those we didn't get. You didn't do treatment. us. Yeah. <laughs> boots. I don't know. <laughs> oh, not good boots. You'll never find another axe. I'm that sorry, Jay Flash. Like I have to kill them. <laughs> um. Uh, I don't. Uh, one of them would have whispered a to you and said, "All will know." Mm. I had to whisper mm. that because the party doesn't. I didn't hear it. Good. That's fine. It's all good. All right. So I'm rushing in. That's what you're doing. Okay. So I'm going to rush in to the opening of the hallway that we saw them yep. peeking around. Beep. Can I see both of them? You can. Well, we all know what time it is now. <laughs> it's X time. Nope. Oh, no. Five of the I six of us know one. what time it is now. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's I don't know cold breath. It's cold breath time. Oh. It's what time? A lot of folks didn't know what time This is a little... <laughs> you actually can, by the way, you can get past the front one if you wanted to, assuming that, yeah. Because they're saying, little? It's, they're medium size, but it's like oh, a 10 the, by 10. Oh, but the hallway's wider. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm, I'm going to try to engage the first one. Okay. And then cold breath down the hallway to get them both. Right. Uh, so that's, oh, that's as long as they're within 15 that. feet of each other. Uh, yeah. Okay. So they each make a DC 13 con save. Miss. Yeah, I'd hit. Okay, okay so um, what, the one that missed takes full, the other takes half, and this is cold damage. Wow. So, yeah, 10 damage. On the uh, front one? On the front one, five to the other. Uh, so that's actually a pretty good effect on them. Yep. didn't seem like they had anything else going on that was immune. So like, rah, they yep. freeze up a little bit. Uh, so then, Idol, you're up. Um, yeah. So I do kind of want to look for indications of intelligence, since they were in some form speaking to us. Um, it's hard because they're so weird to actually, but, um... I mean, the monsters in Monster Inc. were weird. You can still talk to them. So... (laughs) These feel, yeah, th- it's it's hard to say. You can could, you could do like a... Try saying something to them yeah. and see if they talk yeah, back. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, hard, it's hard to divide it. But, but what you can say empirically is that they were able to reflect back thoughts mm-hmm. at you and perhaps suggest thoughts yeah. meant to hurt. Well, I say, get out of my head, and I stab one with both my daggers. One is uh, 14, and the other I'm not going to bother with math on, because it's a 19. <clears throat> All right, you get close <laughs> up to it, swing, and uh, and it's able to somehow, like, shift out of the way. Ugh. Yeah. Even of the Even 25? The, yeah. Oh, you said 25? That is a 25. Yeah, oh. ni- it was 19 without... Oh, I thought uh, you should have. I thought you... What? There were two attacks. Yes. It was oh, okay, but the 25, that both hits. my daggers. Yeah, okay, right. that's good. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, the 25 hits. To be clear, yeah. you need a 15 or better. Okay. Cool. Ah! Uh, okay, well, that's five damage. That's pretty good, and that's the front one also. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, you stab it, it certainly seems to bleed uh, liquid. So that's I, I would hope so. Yeah, I mean, but you never but know. That, but that liquid's actually just tequila. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, now I need another potion bottle. Yes. Uh, your flash. Uh, I'm, I'm going to actually try to talk to them. Okay. I'm try to get in between and try to figure out what the hell they're doing down here. All right. Maybe persuade them to stop fucking with us using my tools of persuasion. <laughs> Just persuasion. All right. So yeah. what do you say to these creatures? Now, admittedly, battle is doing, but you can still be like, stop, stop, stop. I'll yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Yourself. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Get in between. So what do you say? Uh, why are you messing with our heads? You need to stop. This is not okay. It's not okay. Right. You're making you making bears cry. <laughs> right, right. Uh, give me your uh, your uh, charisma persuasion. It's a 
It'll be plus six. Yeah. Big bears don't cry. Huh, that's oh. a ten. Oh, oh, man, man. man. He's a brilliant magic player. Just use your inspiration! Oh, use yeah, inspiration. I'm use inspiration uh, yeah. to really talk to them. Uh, yeah, set them down. To really so just... It was like... like yeah. yeah. Uh, that would be better. a 19. That would be a 19. Um, uh, the, one, the one in the back that hasn't taken quite as much damage that you talked to, um, it speaks in its weird, twisted little mouth, and it says, We... Don't wish to kill you, but simply take what knowledge we can from you. Can we just talk to you about stuff? Like, I, you know, I'm a pretty good teacher. Do you have knowledge you could trade? Huh? Roar. One moment, one moment. This is an exciting new direction. <laughs> <laughs> sort of, sorry. I don't, no, no, I can't no. It's, hit it's, things it's so I can talk to them. <laughs> yeah. Um... <clears throat> It says, we require, we need magic. Hmm. What do you do with the magic? We take it and keep it. Huh. <clears throat> I'm the gonna, the I'm shield gonna... raises an eyebrow. Yeah, the shield raises <laughs> <laughs> That is a great piece of magic. You're not fucking so... taking this, my little friend. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So you take magic items or? Lore. Secrets. We need it. Okay, well, I mean, you've already got a pretty big secret, apparently. That we were once men. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> You're giving <laughs> that secrets continue? away. Is yes. that not? Oh, wow. Well, sorry. <laughs> I don't think they know what secrets are. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> uh, a look from the back, yeah, she's, he's like, I, I think these are called Nothics. Oh. You are called a Nothic. And the uh. teacher is like, No, I was not a Nothic. I was what's called a man. Okay, so why did you change from a man into what you are? Alright, the one here that has been. Yeah, yeah. Uh, quite, quite stalks cold, back, yeah. but does not quite oh, listen. Uh, seem like it's um, totally ready not to throw down. Can I? Can I keep pace with it? I don't want to let because if it's disengaging from uh, me, I, I would either attack like, it or follow it. Okay, so yeah, for now you can follow it without yeah, pushing issue, and we're like with this because this is uh, like just time out for coming. Yeah. Um, but interesting stuff. So the one that's actually engaging um, says. We have been down here for ages. We seek a way back to our true forms. And then it looks at you, Varys, actually, and says, Why would you not be an elf, bear? I sneeze loudly. That's it. It's (laughs) it's strange. (laughs) There's not been an elf anywhere around it. And it just looked at you, and it knew immediately what you really were. It happened to say my greatest fears, so... Which which probably even, yeah, it's part of the... What it was taught you, but it's it's like, yeah, it's just like, why would you not be an elf? I am not... uh, I mean, he made me sad, and so I'm staying as a bear right now. These are very bear-masculine tears. Yeah. 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 Me at all. (laughs) How do you you know? The the things that you know about us, how, how do you know them? See? Everything. Well, then why don't you see how to get the fuck out and become people again? <laughs> so, how, how do... <laughs> yeah. How, right how, on. how does one turn you back into what you want to be? Do you know that? Send them back to their makers is how. Uh, let's let's just and take it easy. Let's all take it easy. Between the dragon and these that guys. is the final secret we search for. Okay, well... There's an elevator, basically. We can take you up. It goes back out. It seems like there's something more going on with these guys, but, um... Like, it's like, yeah, you you would return us to our normal forms? Sure, someone I mean, in exchange for some secrets. I don't really want to know anything. Have you been up to the to the floor up, one up, one up above? Have you been up there? 
came through a different door. Uh, which door did you come through? Like, ah, uh, run down this way. He <laughs> 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 points very purposely down a hallway. But yeah, but it's okay. Yeah, to your left, past yeah, the yeah. Okay, take, take, keep bending to your left. Take, take me you there. You won't miss it. Nope, take me there. Um, all right, it goes. Do you do way? Uh, goes to. Okay. You go down this hallway again, and you get to a door that you would have, I think, at this point seen, but I didn't call it out because it's in doors, doors, doors. You actually recognize what this, what this, um, what this area is. It's actually some kind of uh, installation to the Shadowfell, okay. which is a, which is a. Everything that's cool and light and neat about the Feywild is the opposite true. Oh, Shadowfell. okay. Oh. It's a pretty gnarly place oh. that you might not want to eagerly. You guys came from there? Gross. We came through there. Hmm. That was probably a bad idea. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to figure out their language. That means I agree. <laughs> when, you say, when you say you came through there, you mean you started somewhere else, came through the Shadowfell, and ended up here? Where did you start? From another part of this world. Okay. How how did you get from there into the Shadowfell? We know the secret ways. Yeah, and I said, if you tell me some secrets, we might help you get back into your real bodies. You're blowing my mind. <laughs> um, all right, so, so, moving slightly out of real time for the sake of... So, uh, congratulations, A, because you're not currently in combat. That's pretty cool. Uh, and way to kind of deflect it. I combated them with persuasion. You did, which is awesome. Yeah. Part of the thing. Um, Idol, when it goes back and forth, here's what you can kind of divine through this process. Mm -hmm. Is the information they've already told you is probably some of the most valuable. Which is that there are ways to get in and out, or this hub exists as a way of planar travel. Mm -hmm. And specifically using the planes to access other points of this world, perhaps. That seems to be part of what this is all about. Yeah, between what we did to come in and what they're describing, it's, yes. it's like a hallway where you go through a different plane mm -hmm. to get between two points in our plane. Yes, yeah. Right. Yeah. just, just yeah, basically yeah. just like that. And that's something about the Siren's nature that you that nobody else really knows. So you're learning something that is... A, a, or I, sh I sh you don't know that nobody in the world knows it. But what I can say is that for this, yeah, like you have never heard anything like that. You've never seen anything like it at the Rune Academy to actually get closer to like what the series were about. Uh, so the entire floor is, that's what it is. It's different planes, different rooms. Um, it's hard for you to interface at any given one. But that's the basic nature of it is that it seems like that was a launching point or a passage point or something they're all inactive currently. Uh, the Nothics is what they're called. Mm -hmm. you talk to them a little bit more before they finally become so anguished at talking to people that are clearly who they really are uh, and not twisted and not cursed is that they were once uh, lore seekers. They were actually people that tried to delve a little bit too deeply into Syrian secrets. They snuck in and somehow they were trapped by the terrible energies here and oh, twisted no. into these fellas. creatures. It is actually, when you talk about the ultimate yeah. redemption, yeah, this would be the ultimate redemption. I'm, I'm not going to carry them around. <laughs> like the they're, they're pretty big and... Yeah. Well, a pretty big bear. But, yeah. but the lovely little eyes. Beautiful yeah. eyes. Beautiful mm -hmm. eye. Beautiful eye. So yeah, and that's basically it. And they have, they have some, some really extrasensory ability to perceive things, but... And, and they were... So they're so anguished, what do they do? They just... They just go... The, what they said is basically it. They're looking for a way to transform themselves back. But they're so right. mentally reduced in their ability to really divine that and twisted that they may never do it. They're basically cursed beings who are constantly looking for a way to not be cursed. I think the sad. most merciful thing we could do would be to put them out of their misery. But if you really want to spare these creatures, perhaps if we let them loose into the... Uh, the wild world that we walked through to get here, they could find something powerful enough to change them back. We certainly aren't capable of it. Right? Uh, yeah, I just feel bad for them. I, don't, I can't really think through how to redeem them. You can at least leave them in the library one floor up, and maybe they'd be able to find some information. Some sweet tunes. Travel through a horror movie. 
Yeah. You could, yeah. Um, but first you'd have to figure out how to use the entire facility. And that's one thing that so far you're pretty confident you haven't been able to do. <laughs> right. The Maybe that makes a little more sense about the, the console over here, mm-hmm. though, is that the different kinds of fluctuation stuff might have been some form of gate control, you can say. But that is way outside of anything you can just We don't make. think we could manipulate it. All right, so okay. turning to the Nothix, uh, we, we've got... Two, Which one? What? Where'd they go? What? They furred them away. No, I don't know. They're, they're oh. still around, but they, but they actually, at some point, they become anguished, and they actually oh, they flee leave. from you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They actually, oh. I think I said it earlier, but if I didn't, apologize. Yeah, they literally, they flee from you when it's clear that, that they're, yeah, it's reduced capacity. They're I know you're trying mm-hmm. to move us past this encounter, but I feel like we should kill them before we turn this you, over you to totally, someone else. Yeah, you totally, yeah. Okay. You can do whatever you want to. Okay. I'm just saying that they're done, like, they've said everything. They're going to converse okay. as much cool. as they, as they yeah. can. This place isn't secure with those two guys running around. We gotta at least track them down. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you do what you want. All right. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna try to hunt them out. Okay. Um, how long do you want to try to do that? Because when they're really about it, they actually have. Well, I'll, I'll just tell yeah. you this will help you. Sure. There, cause it's good. They have true sight to 120 feet. Right. They, like, mm. perceive you. Yeah. Like, if they don't want to be seen, they can see me coming And they have and pretty good stealth. Because that was yeah. part of their thing, is they were just, like, sliding around behind you and, like, and, like peeling off right. thoughts from you. And then, yeah, like I said, they have a pretty decent stealth, so they're hiding. So, I mean, you can do it, and we can just, like, try to speed play some roles or whatever, but... Whatever, you, whatever. I, I, I didn't know if I you think I'm going to work on that. convincing them not to kill them and just let them... Very yeah, I'll, I'll be calling out to them, we're not going to hurt you! Yeah. We have a we have a plan for you to find the power you seek. Yeah, uh, uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a compelling argument. Uh, I shouldn't roll this die anymore. Oof. The skull means crits. Yeah, uh, they don't oh, believe you. Uh, they, they don't. Be- they don't believe. When we finish searching the rest of this compound, a much more powerful group is going to come here, and they may not be as merciful as us. This is your last chance. If you could persuade and beat a 21? No. Uh, how, does a, how does a 4 do <laughs> How does a 4 do that? You? Uh, and My probably really what happened is... I can first, tell. First off, <laughs> Thanks for trying, though. That first was off, really good. I, I, I feel give, like we've, we've done a thing here. <laughs> yeah. uh, so this is what, this is what happens. Is we'll give you my After the interaction, you, you were kicking their butts. So, especially you in yeah. particular, uh, with, the, with the breath weapon. So that was kind of terrifying to them. Then when um, Flash kind of... You know, got them to calm down for a minute, and then I don't interacting with them. They're willing to parlay that for a while, mm-hmm. but then basically realizing like how much they failed, how stunted they are, and twisted. They're like they're never coming back out. Yeah, probably they fled to some weird corner, and you're pretty confident that maybe if you set up a dragnet and went right. through the whole place, maybe you could catch them. But the other deal is. They, they seem like they could take one of you out. Like, if, if by mistake you did a dragnet and went through, they, 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 they could kill you. They could kill one of you if they got you alone. So, that's just what I'm going to say about Let's that move situation. Let's move on. All right. All right. So they another good uh, DM uh, yeah. moment <laughs> to talk about later is, like, when the party parlays in the middle of combat, which was cool, but it's just like, yeah, it's like, hmm. Because a lot of monsters are built more for combat than yeah, for roleplay. Yeah. So it's interesting to have to shift gears really quickly and go... All right, I'm here to fuck your kind of. shit up. No, but I like it. I like it. Actually, in, in ordinarily, I'd be more uh, on my feet. But I was just like, oh, okay, now we're going to role play. Um, so, go back to the hub. You mm-hmm. feel confident that you've actually explored this entire place. And there are two critters, two twisted arcanists around. Okay. Uh, down... Down to the next, the next next level? On the downward. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on the downward. Sounds down kind of right. <laughs> and this points was the whole big fun. Excuse me, is my moving map. It's underveiled. I really want to do a puzzle, but Rick would not get <laughs> so, Right? <laughs> well, we'll your see, puzzle we'll should see, be we'll how see. to use that thing in a way to, like, you know, like. Mess with people. Yeah. So right. basically, as like if you're walking in I, front, just like place it in midair. So I was thinking when, when the Nothics said they wanted magical objects, I was thinking of pulling the same trick on them. I pulled on them. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> here you go. What you don't want it? <laughs> 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 
not th- take it. Ungrateful little <laughs> side <laughs> side conversation for later is not things are interesting because they're more lore acquisitive yeah. than mm-hmm. than magic mm-hmm. item magic acquisitive. Items, yeah. um, so, but but if you had our arcane secrets and stuff like that, especially related to transformations, perhaps that would be some argument. Power. And who knows? Because you didn't kill them. everyone can transform. Maybe really. you can go back later. Yeah, everybody can <laughs> yeah, transform so themselves. In, that's in, in, within them. That's very Jeff Flash. Yeah, yeah, Jeff Flash is of the order of um, social work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say this. I think someone no, are, should try to map that's bullshit. this. That's, bullshit. <laughs> that's not going to be a bunch of crap, man. Um, that's actually really offensive to say to an author. <laughs> Uh, somebody straight about this. Who's mad? That ain't going to be me. Um, the and pretty soon, it's going to be fun to try. But I'm going to start you off just to see, because I'm just that kind of... That's where we come in? That's where you come in. Okay. You see a quarter, and it's, it's crazy, because it just kind of goes straight, and then it goes... And that sort of weird. okay. What I should guess we, we do, gang? <laughs> Let's go straight and then go to the right. Uh, left. I think oh. we. I think we could debate those two options for a half hour. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? You could try to role play it. Maybe yeah. be the corner. I talk to change. the corner. <laughs> <laughs> you know you got it in you. Really left though. So like, well, you have a very good point. <laughs> no, I mean it. <laughs> Am I just the, it does turn to the left, right? Yeah, it, no, it does. Right. It's like, yeah, this is this is this is how that goes. House left, stage right. <laughs> so yep. to flash right. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, so we go that way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. mm-hmm. you go in, and this is. I'll just do a little bit. More. So then there's a room that goes like this. Are you want to hit this off? We'll see when, and you'll see why. Do 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 do. Like that. Okay, what what's in this room? Uh, so this room's an interesting kind of like it's just like displays of some kind, uh, the kind of stuff that you've seen already, right? The, the same kind of play, illusions yeah. and yeah, yeah. stuff right. like that. Are there more stasis there... rods? Because that's pretty fucking cool. <laughs> it is pretty cool. I actually well, you, you should talk about that stasis rod because uh-huh. I was really thinking who would want that. Um, so yeah, you're in this room now. Is there any kind of theme? Like the others are like various no, planes. There's like no planar theme. Okay. This one. Okay. As you pass through that on. room, yeah. um, you see on the floor uh, something similar to the Siren door uh, light up as you come into the room, mm-hmm. and you hear a sequence. It's like uh, a little bit, a little bit like the beautiful sequence that you heard before. Drunk, but you actually notice there's some cacophonous notes in it, and you see like the symbol on the floor, like change, and you feel like this sense of vertigo, and then everything is fine. Huh? That was weird. Well, mm-hmm. let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Let us keep going. Uh, I look back at the hallway behind us. Mm-hmm. Does is it does is it the same? Uh, that hallway does appear to be the same. Okay. That one. <laughs> that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be the same, right? Hell, okay, so let's keep going. Let's, yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. What's next? Um, all right, so you can make a. Now I'm going to stop doing the mapping. Um, you can go uh, to the right There's this the way. Marker. You have the pen. Yep. Yeah. I do this just so you know facing. Mm-hmm. Would it help if I actually said north? It would actually. North, uh, south, west, east. Because instead of me saying, trying to go like, oh, it's to your left or to your sure. right, that'll yeah, be kind yeah. of weird. Yeah. So basically, um, you see a passage that goes south, and then one that seems like it continues uh, uh, east. I sniff the air. Like a fork there? The... Or a T? Yeah, like, but I don't have got it exactly. I know my directions. Mm-hmm. So this looks like it goes much further down, and this one looks like it goes and then does kind of a dog elbow that way. I do not know what a dog elbow means. Oh, uh, like a... Just an elbow. Like a right yeah, elbow. Like just a an elbow. Right angle. That's strange. A dog <laughs> you know leg. Phrase before? A dog no. Dog. Yeah. No. I've yeah. never heard that. That's so crazy, but not a dog elbow. But a dog leg is what that is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think oh. you just made that up. <laughs> okay. Where are you from? 
So ah, then, like, made up land. So <laughs> where dogs he's walk like this. The Listen, man. He's, he's from dogs. Yeah, find his kibble, please. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's good. Every dog's a weird shaped bulldog. <laughs> kibble. I just ask because dialects are really fascinating. No, I know. That's and, and I do have some Pennsylvania stuff where I'll say, like, oh. angst and so okay. All right. Scrapple. This is Scrapple. <laughs> okay, so. Just gonna say this is where he passed it off to us. Yeah, good, yeah. good call. Yep. Okay. So, um, for what it's worth, the hallways are not that interesting. Yeah. Okay. You're telling us to move. So we just pick it up. <laughs> I mean, like, okay. yeah. Let's go right. Let's go right. All right. South. Nice. South. Could I do another like perception? Smell the air. Mm-hmm. And I get advantage. That was an eight. That's a fourteen. Okay. Um, one thing that is like there's no uh, smell of life down here whatsoever. Like Do it's I smell been, death? Uh, no, actually, no, nothing no, rotting. Mm-hmm. Anything empty? Okay. Uh, so that goes down about South. another. And just kind of like rough this. If like you think this is like five feet, this mm-hmm. goes down ten feet, and then it goes to the west. It takes a turn to the west. Dog elbow. Continue following it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the dog elbow. Let's keep going. Okay. All right, keep going. It comes out into a little room here. This might be a little bit too much detail, I'm realizing. This is one thing when you borrow a thing. Uh, and then it keeps going. There's another passage out that way. And then you go, and then you cross another threshold here, which is mm. hard to see, and you hear. And these, circles, yeah, actually, that's a great idea. And that one there. Can you please? This. No pinking. Another. Just pass myself, Chuck. Did you? Did you? Did you? Oh, well done. <laughs> straight, straight behind idol. You're actually, yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> this, this rabbit for the final. My best laid plans, ladies and gentlemen. Especially since it's eight twenty-eight. I know. We're almost there. I know. Isn't this the puzzle we almost hit last week at eight thirty? Well, here's the thing. <laughs> but I added, this is the thing, a quick timeout. This is the thing that happened. I actually had this in not really much of a middle room at all. Yeah. And then what happened is I got clever because I had the extra week. Did you, though? So I changed the fucking <laughs> stairs. No, no. I got too clever by half. I changed the fucking stairs to a sigil. And then I added encounters that were actually counterintuitive. I'll call those encounter intuitives. So... <laughs> Uh, but where you are now, well, we managed that to fit a pun in there without us going to a tavern. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, oh, well, that actually works out just fine. So, um, you see a passage, it goes straight ahead, mm-hmm. and then it cuts to the west. West is still that oh, way. Sorry, so that way. Oh, yeah. Because, yep, that's oh, still yeah, west. Oh, yeah, you know what's funny? Oh, it's God, no longer it's west so for him. Weird. Uh oh, shit. Yeah, that's right. That's well, okay, which way does it well, turn, you know right or left? Here's what's really super cool, and I'm not even making this up. You can see for yourselves, ladies and gentlemen. I'll show you. It actually goes straight ahead. Okay, and then, something happened here. Yeah, it did. And what ended up happening is you got connected to the center. There's so much good stuff to talk about, to unpack all of my foibles tonight. Um, <laughs> so you just like say that it went west, even though really your direction has changed. We're all, we're all turned around. But right. we made it to our destination. Yeah, because I rolled randomly, truthfully, oh. for the starting position. Yeah, well, yeah. You want to see it? Because it doesn't matter. Because you go around the corner, it'll shake. Okay. So each one of these is a sigil, tr- sigil that when you go through it, I rolled the eight and changed the orientation and then rolled and changed the orientation to a quadrant and then rolled and changed the orientation of the quadrant. And you've done that mm. twice now, mm-hmm. which is why that was going to start to get really funky and start to be like technically... Except both nothing. times it gave us a direct route to the next ring. Yeah, which is just a... I, I don't know what the odds are. Maybe you would... I don't even know. I'm, it's D8 by quadrant, and it's each 
ring rotates in a separate direction. And I started out far enough, and I'm like, oh, look at that. That could have been a super interesting dungeon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it could have it been. It really, it could, really have could have been. But instead, and I'm going to honor the rules. There's somebody other, someone, some other group is playing through this right now, and it's just like, yeah, this is fucking awesome. <laughs> I know, but it's, yeah. not, it's not my it's group. Not us. Yeah, yeah. This because, is Diedrich's kind of puzzle. Uh, <laughs> so here, then, is going to be fine, because I swear, maybe the fates are just saying, Mark, just wrap this one up. <laughs> Lick your wounds and come back tomorrow. So... Here's what ends up happening. Frank, you even had advantage on this because of the stuff that you did upstairs with the uh, the disc. You could have figured out that the notes that were playing, the discordant notes that were playing, you could actually take over the sigils and change them. Ooh. By playing music over them? Yeah, or and, or just knowing where basically the notes that were out of place on simple right. scales and right. things like that. Like, oh, that one. Like, that one needs to be here, higher up the register in order to do it and that would have locked that ring okay so by going through each one you lock all the rings so you can actually have to get all the way through would have been cool it would have been (laughs) it's still cool it's still cool you're right you're right just as good there's a future dungeon where we're on a boat and the boat's making music and everything's moving (laughs) so you go into the room you enter a large circular chamber after many Many hours of navigating <laughs> this my head. Along the wall across from you, more giant statues stand. Some wear elaborate helms and intricate lenses across their eyes. The centermost figure is a barrel-chested brute made entirely of metal. Its head appears to be a stylized rendition of a predatory bird, perhaps an eagle. It seems impossible that such a room could fit within the confines of this building. In the center, a massive sphere of energy hovers a few feet above a raised dice. The sphere pulses and scintillates with colors and patterns across its surface. The predominant color, however, is red, large splotches of which break apart and reform, undulating like globules of some viscous liquid. Bands of strange symbols slowly circle the sphere as well, dutifully conveying their unknown message in the Syrian tongue. Before you can truly take it all in, however, and make sense of it, you hear a booming otherworldly voice, perhaps in your ears, or perhaps only in your minds. It seems to be a challenge or a query of some kind. Vashin tu na shriach! Vashin vakoba! The centermost statue bearing the eagle head steps forward fluidly. With thudding footsteps, it walks swiftly through the sphere. Right, just right through. It keeps coming, it approaches you. It ripples and immediately reforms. It stops before you and quickly kneels. Boom! Onto one knee. It extends its left arm, palm out. You see on the palm an intricate circular pattern within patterns, glowing blue. It speaks again. Vashin tu na shriach tot le me ipranta. And with that last, its eyes begin to glow red. So. That's redeemable. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it is likely redeemable. It looks something like that. Neat. You pick it up, too. Right, I, I, I just realized I could have done that. Um, and it stands, it's standing before all of them. Uh, none of us recognize the tongue that it's speaking in. It's definitely Siren, right. because there was the same word that was in Delph Lame La Hebra, which I'm going to guess, he's saying something, I'm going to guess that Lame is the way, and uh, probably he's saying something based on contextual clues like this, that we're not allowed to go this way. You want to try stating the same thing you did before to it? I mean, yeah. it's not like it's phrased like it's asking permission or anything. Just go up at the but... end. <laughs> Doth la me la I mean, I don't know very much about Syrian grammar. I'm not sure that it works that way. <laughs> yeah, they may have different intonations. I had that same thought. It's it like the intonation anything? problem. Yes, yeah. it's, it's we. I'm, I'm giving you a moment to talk amongst yourselves. But it, I'm assuming it can hear us. Like we just said the same Siren phrase a couple times. Did it uh, react to that at all? Uh, I don't usually play it that when you're oh. talking table talk. That that's <laughs> right. actually because oh, otherwise really? there are t- yeah because okay. other times that means if you're talking yeah. in front of it, like maybe we should ask about like yeah. the person standing yeah. right there. You could consider right. everything I just said to be in character. 
Okay. Yeah, that's what I was going. All for. right. So, so if you want to, we need that rule for now. And when you speak, even around other, I'll just assume that everything you're talking <laughs> like about, like unless we like stage whisper. Yeah. There's or a, or like, a lot of groups do this as the symbol for speaking out of character. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, yeah. Or or just or just let me know because really that's character. usually <laughs> I've run into situations Back where in character. Uh, <laughs> I've run into situation before where people are like we didn't say that. I'm yeah, like, yeah. well, what are yeah. you saying? Yeah. Um, but you do say Daflame, the Hebra, mm-hmm. right? Um, the orb in your pack like starts mm-hmm. vibrating incredibly uh, and, whoa. and like boom pops out of your pack what? like a force that will not be uh, denied put the rod in front yeah, of it yeah, I'm, I'm going to really quickly try to put the can't. rod <laughs> <'cause that was laughs> not right in front of the thing. as soon as I see it go up I'm going to try to put the orb in front of the guy's open hand right. and lock it Okay, not in yeah. his hand but in front of it alright cool huh. so psh, you yep. do that and it goes psh, like out in front of Idol still, like up in the air, but like here. And it says, Dathlame la Kibra, Sorsavan, Ete Sirdath, Dathlame Ipranta, Idris Meldaru. And the uh, the thing standing there, it goes, Dathlame Ipranta, Idris Meldaru. And the orb goes, Dathlame Ipranta, Sir Sansarvan, Dath. Vashim, Tona Shriak, Dathlame Idris Meldaru. And the, uh, the creature goes, Idris Mildaru, Ipranta, pilot accepted, but no vessel remains. And then with that, its eyes turn blue, the symbol in front of its hand turns green, Sweet. and it pushes forward a little bit closer to you. I take the orb out of the, the rod out of the way. <laughs> you know what's funny? There's a weight limit on that. It would crush that rod. That, <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah. You want that rod, get it away. Uh... So, yeah. Our cannon would touch it. I don't. I think you're going to be a um, pilot. May, may chance. <laughs> I t- gen- gently touch it with my may chance. <laughs> its eyes turn red. Okay. Don't oh. commit your prompt out, you just feel the root. Hand, hand idle. Don't, don't, okay, I touch, I touch it with my hand. Boom. All right. Oh. You get an electric shock. Ah! Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> rushes through you. It almost feels like an ecstasy. For a minute, you actually have a sense of a vast uh, spatial awareness, should I say? Like, all around you, you feel, for a minute, like, control of a vast amount of space. And then the light kind of goes out, but you feel suddenly paired, attuned to the orb in a way that you weren't before. And it says, perhaps in your minds, you're not sure, but you all hear it, it says, I am the navigator. I am here to help you. Will the crew identify itself? Captain. <laughs> <laughs> the pilot, Idris Mildrew. Yep. Oh. Identify crew. Um, this is Diedrich. All right. This is Jeflash. Um, <laughs> all right, it says, step forward and be registered. Diedrich, go. Yeah, I right. put my hand to it. Captain Diedrich. Register captain. I don't know about uh, that, buddy. It just, it just says, uh, <laughs> Diedrich. Diedrich identified. And you also have this sense of, um, if we were talking today, it'd be like a cellular, like, oh, but you feel like something rush through you and you have like a little bit of a sense of everyone else in that same kind of like feeling of a larger perspective. I did not enjoy that. <laughs> It's a little rough. Jeflash, go. High five, motherfucker. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Denied. No. 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 This actually, it goes, importantly, it's like, uh, registered, and then it stops for a minute and says, welcome back, Jeflash. Oh, oh. That's weird. Ferris, <laughs> yeah. I think you should turn back into an elf, maybe? Oh, I, I, hours passed. So oh. okay. Or maybe more appropriately, already registered. Already right. registered. It's uh, uh, a okay. first mate. You first first mate. High five. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know I, gotta, I gotta get that sent back. No first mate. Frank, go. Join the crew, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like same thing. Electric shock. You feel a sense of like a greater uh, world, right? And then um, I do not. Yeah, <laughs> really? everybody does. Oh everybody yeah, does. <laughs> <laughs> I was the only one. Like... Frank registered. Uh, pilot, the crew is identified and acceptable. However, <laughs> no vessel crew. remains in this installation for your command. 
Ask the ball. Um, Ask the orb. So what? I don't. Wow, I don't understand anything that's happening right now. Where we, else might a ship where's be? Where's the next ship? Yeah. Yeah. We do not know. We do not understand. This facility is no longer operational. How could there... We're on land. How could there be a... Well, oh, right, because the water receded. Well, yeah, there's probably no vessel because we're not by the ocean anymore. The fleet no longer survives. Yeah. I'm assuming that you're Siren, that this is all... That this yes, is all Siren. we are Siren. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm just looking away, to, not like just, these guys. It's like I'm pausing like that's kind of the yeah. vibe you catch. Okay. Um, I have a question for your idol to ask, I think. Um... Well, it's like, for, first of all, where's our guide? And he has a little, like, wireless thing. Is he, did he, like, ping that? Yeah. Is that oh, you're about oh, look? Is that where, where, oh, yeah, a I look, forgot about him. A look he did not register. kind of shit himself about all of this. Because <laughs> yeah. he really, I mean, he said he didn't know if it was a library. He said that, like, that's kind of a weird Syrian word for thought experiment. Right. You know, laboratory, library. Like, he was, sure, in fact, I think he said specifically that, that was probably a mispronunciation of the original Syrian or misunderstanding. Um... To see this room and to see all of that stuff, he thought, it seems like you guys were going to be crushed. Right. And then when you've all just become crew, I mean, he might even try to sidle up and be part of the crew. Who knows? Mm. Yeah, a mook. No. No. <laughs> no. no. Uh, stowaway? No. Absolutely not. <laughs> ah! What I'm... I took you here! But, but basically, yeah, it's it's. Um, he has not done anything with the setting stone yet. Right. I mean, this is, this is an awesome display of Siren... Uh, power that so, he's never seen before. I mean, don't touch the setting stone for a bit. Just leave it to like, we don't want to announce because if these people knew this was happening, I'm a little like terrified of like what a ship technology would be. Uh, on that, uh, <laughs> magic tech, yeah. uh, related, uh, Doc Master, what would happen if uh, someone who weren't a part of the crew were to come to this facility? Uh, you're you're addressing. I'm addressing. I don't know what it's called. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't speak. It doesn't say nothing. To you. Idol. Right. Hey. Um. <laughs> so, question one. What do we call you? Uh, you're talking to. Him. Uh, actually, it, it's uh, Doc Master's close to it, but basically, it's like yeah, vessel steward, something like he says that thing. Yeah. It's like, steward? steward. Yeah, steward. steward. Is good. Stuart. Right. Stuart. 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 <laughs> oh, that's just Stuart. his, yep, that's his name now. Right. Stuart. Uh, <laughs> Stu. Yeah. Stu. Yeah. Uh, so you say the Stu. Stu. So what would happen if someone who weren't part of this crew came here? Without the navigator? Yeah. They would be destroyed. Oh. All right, hear that over? And then the orb goes, I am the navigator. Yes, we got that. Yep. yep. And we're gonna have a conversation. Never... We're gonna yes, we're gonna have a conversation oh, about this at some Abby. point later, <laughs> soon, hey. but not now. <laughs> hey. I serve Idris Baldru. Boy, J Flash. Any memory of this? Before I have no idea what they're talking about. No. We, we, yeah. Can I ask Stu. <laughs> Stu, how do you know J Flash? J Flash's, uh, J Flash's essence is known to us. It is registered. Is that because he was a a writer? What is outrider? Paladin. I guess not. Is it? Yeah. Is it because he's a paladin? Because he's divine? What is paladin? Okay. Yeah. Ask I about see. his god. What god do you follow? Yeah, no, I don't. Yeah, I'm not really. What would you? Okay. What do you saddle up That's next fine. to his acquaintance? <laughs> Those guys really haven't really helped too much. Yeah. To be okay. Fair. I, um, all I guess. Are... I guess we'll get to this. Yeah. Yeah, All I'm, right. I'm pretty uh, clueless. We're, we're yeah. crew. We're the faceless. So, this is the information that you have. Uh, yep. To try to, like, kind of pull it up. It's that the orb that idol that you had discovered mm -hmm. a while back mm -hmm. had certain, it was a certain artifact that you realized that. that was actually a thing. Um, it's been kind of quietly attuning itself to you through mm -hmm. all of these travels. You feel that very, very um, certainly Got that. now. Um, going into this place, though... Was it happenstance? Was it hard to know yet? Uh, but you traveled across Brisaira. You actually punched down to one of the lower levels of this place, navigating things that you are pretty sure no one else has done in this modern era, at least not 
without ending up like some awful uh, enslaved dangerous thing yeah. or one-eyed mm-hmm. monster. Specifically, yeah. like one-eyed monsters, right? Twisted, weird aberrations or sucked into planes that were utterly hostile to life, as you know it. When you're actually able to go here, there was some kind of a pairing, a final attunement process. This guardian, Doc Master, this warden, Stu, Stu. Uh, was actually the person that pairs vessels and catalogs them. After the navigator identified you as the pilot, because you had attuned to it, and that was basically, it was stating your case, essentially. Mm-hmm. The pilot is, pilot is, mm-hmm. and then it was like, okay, fine, that's the pilot. And then it said, however, no vessels remain for your command. Right. So you are somehow registered as a crew pilot for a vessel that apparently there are none. And that's a bummer. That is a bummer. Uh, we like vessels? Uh, yeah, <laughs> ask it where the last ship was lost. Where was the last ship lost? Stu? Uh, <laughs> Stewie boy. He's Stu. He's just Stu now. In the, in the infernal plains of Carcery. That's and, rough. And how would we get there? Um, exactly. <laughs> Let's do it. You would need a vessel or the proper planar key. Is there a recall vessel? What's a planar key? The implement by which gates are <laughs> controlled. Okay, yes. How do we get one? You don't have one? No. I mean, I assume I don't, but I also didn't know the that bar, was the a bar, navigator. The bar, the bar. Go to the requisitions officer of your command and request one. Oh boy, what's going on? Grab the bar. So we don't... We don't have a requisitions officer. We don't have a command. <clears throat> At the moment, we're between them. <laughs> All right. It's kind of like it just sort of it's, it's, it, then um, navigator chimes in and mm-hmm. says, "Pilot Idris Maljaru, we will need time to further attune ourselves to each other to understand mm-hmm. your concepts." Well, we've got a Apparently, thing. do you? Okay, here's a. How much connection do you have with with the rest of the? Veld, like, how, do you talk about like the, you, the, the, the world. world sort of it? Yeah, this is an interesting point, by the way, uh, because even your characters, you as players, have a sense of a world, right? Mm-hmm. But your characters actually have never really traveled outside of an area about this big, so you don't necessarily have a concept of a large, round world, like, mm-hmm. right? Or, or even much beyond the thing. And it's really just never come up. Like Our world is like a nation. Yeah, it, it's yeah. it's like, well, you know, it's the, I don't have it handy. <laughs> the map you've shown. Yeah, it's the yeah. map yeah. many times. Yeah. Uh, it, it's like that, right? And so, and so it's not even that you've ever questioned, you've assumed that there's lands beyond it, of course, but it's just never been something that you've ever thought particularly hard about. Um, and that's salient right now because um, the sphere... Once you uh, uh, all are paired, there are items like viscous and the scobules and all those kinds of things in the giant sphere. Well, actually, that defines itself more to swirling patterns in places, but also like much larger solidified. Uh, what it looks like is a map, mm-hmm. but a much, much larger map and than round. anyone you've That's ever seen. For some weird reason. Like some um, kind of globe. And there are whole big parts <laughs> of it. If that was a word. Right, <laughs> if that was a word. That's right, remember, it's a sphere, not a globe. Mm-hmm. But uh, what you see, actually, is that there's still red patches that mm-hmm. shimmer. Um, you have a little bit more attunement. You realize that these are places that have just lost connection entirely. So, But you see the build, and you uh-huh. see, like, dots of where... Can I use my cartographer's tools to try to make like a Mercator projection of this thing? You can. And um, are you holding back on anything? And I'm actually asking you if there's something that asking me, is, Jared. I'm asking, <laughs> I'm asking you, Jared. Oh. Oh, you would need to ask me a question in secret. I I just want to know if you're holding that back for any reason, or if not, your one secret. About the world. Oh, right. Uh, you don't remember it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, d- does I forgot it count as a reason? <laughs> yes. When, when, every once in a while, when the, in the campaign, 
if I will, you have a secret, yeah. it's actually something that's probably like an important secret. And if you don't have a secret yet, it's because I'm waiting for the right perfect moment to react to player decisions. Is in how the narrative flows. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I do remember. And this would be something you it's the, like It's the Dragonborn do. thing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Vandia? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'll tell you what it is. Okay. Um, yeah, I, if it's relevant to this map, I would share it with you. It is 100% relevant. Uh, there is a, a, um, a known legend from Vandia that actually, if you remember it, and I bet you don't, and that's okay, gang. Um, Vandia, it is said, there's a Syrian uh, artifact, a powerful Syrian artifact at the heart of that island. Cool. But in fact, what uh, Diedrich knows for a fact is that it's actually a Syrian ruin complex that exists in the heart of the jungle of Vandia. <laughs> and uh, some, <laughs> some uh, explorations went in there, some expeditions went in from various tribes to pierce and find out what it is. And they said that it was filled with, or inhabited by a sinister serpent people, but the fur and filled with traps that were beyond their ken. But when they finally punched in deeper into the complex of this place, they saw strange, magnificent ships made of metal that seemed to be hanging from pincers from the ceiling of this vast building. So I share all that as I <laughs> madly scribble this map down. And when you look and, and use your cartography skill against the what is now not a sphere but a globe, you realize that actually, um, yeah, you can pinpoint that there is another the island. Yeah. installation like this one yeah. on Vandia. I know where we're heading. Amok, Amok. Uh, do you have that sending stone? I've never not had this in this Destroy it. What? A mook, destroy the stone. Oh, yeah. Get rid of it. But this is with 10,000 more pieces. That, that, I oh, knock yeah, him on the head <laughs> with my shield. Oh, you're very good at that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Come. I take May chance. The yeah, May chance. The stone. Before we destroy it, he did say ten thousand gold pieces. If we just wrap it up in a cloth and sell it somewhere, it's just going to disappear, and it might as well be destroyed. And worth ten thousand gold for sure. It's this is we not worth not ten thousand gold pieces. This people knowledge coming. Yeah. yeah, summoning people to I've, this place is worth the money. We are not bringing anyone else here. This treasure is ours. Did I misunderstand a mook? Yes, Apparently. I believe so. <laughs> Yeah, the people the, the, who hired him to do this will pay him 10000 once he summons them. Yeah. There's the idea. Yep. Um, yeah. Well, then we, we can crush it. <laughs> I thought the stone itself was worth that amount. I mean, I was like, magic well, items oh, are no, very no, no, easy no, no, to no. break. He, he, he's but... saying, and actually, like, he joked with you once about the 10000 It's pieces. not, yeah. It's not that much. It's actually, <laughs> you were going to get paid 1500 gold pieces to do this, and he was getting paid about Okay. And he did joke about like, What is ten thousand not enough? Yeah. Wish it. So if you if you if you break it, it'll summon Yeah, we're yeah, not breaking so it. Do that. We're yeah. just sticking it I'm in somebody's gonna, pocket. I'm just gonna wrap, wrap it up, up and put it I in mean, my backpack. You have to like think about it. Okay. Like, it's not like, oh fuck it broke. <laughs> like right. oh I butt dialed you, I butt That's sent you. Cool. Uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry, wait. I should never have done that. Let's give it to Stu. He doesn't want <gasps> anyone else to come here. That's a good idea. Stu. Hey, Stu. Is actually, I mean, if, if you're looking for what you think would make logical sense in this situation, you could actually just set it on the ground. Or, I or guess, somewhere I secure. Guess. And then it would take somebody getting down there to, no. to send it. Oh, sure. They'd have to already be here to summon yeah. themselves here. Right. right. Okay. Right. Which would be <laughs> Still, good. hey, Stu, keep this very safe. Uh, Stu... Is not that articulated, ah. and so he. But Hold he also your hands like this, feeling <laughs> like the transaction's over. He's like, he's a little bit more uh, simple. Is not the right word, but dialed into the way you think would be the best way to say it. He sort of like stands back up, and then he spins around, and then through the through the sphere, and then turns, and then he just goes inert. Statue friend. Other statue. statue friend. Statue oh, yeah, yeah. friend. Oh, is statue friend still here? Yeah, he's yeah, always course. here. He's always <laughs> by my side. So, you know what? This is like the familiar from the Order of the Stick, which is where, where like, every other one just pops in. <laughs> it's like your statue friend. Like, Don't you have the statue friend? Like, he's here. Of course, he's always there. 
Here's you know the question. The real did statue friends get registered? <laughs> <Is he> registered? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Actually, though, when Frank, when you did go up to do your thing, it was there and it went with you right next to you, right? And then it like went back. Welcome back, Twole. I mean, you'll be no. treading, you'll be treading water in an ocean someday. I mean, what's with like six Dutch friends right there? Don't you know? I know. I, it's like, I love this guy. This solid but if we give it. the if we give the stone to Statue Friend, we have to leave him down here with it. I don't yeah. want that. Yeah, I don't want it either. We just leave the stone. All right, we'll we'll take it. a book and leave the stone. Yeah, take a book. <laughs> leave a book. Take mean, the stone. Totally up to you. A book's not a bad guy. He's not. No, no. He is certainly not a bad guy, but he was not using that stone. So for a tighter session next time, which really, I don't know why I, it was the extra time. Because we're so much it. fun. No, no, you're awesome. Because chat, so distracting. Well, I feel like it was more on me this time. Yeah, but, well, but, it's, uh, it's, it's, it always is, actually. It really is, <laughs> <laughs> it really is right? You have to try to quarterback this thing. Um, but here, here's the deal, though, because I want to I wanna uh, just leave you with this thought for next week. <laughs> Not really a thought. Like, um, leaving this complex, you can do it easily. Um, we've got a nav- we've got an actual navigator, not some drug dope. Well, the navigator is interesting. And so, just to put that in practical terms, we'll say now we're like sort of out of session. Yeah. So, so um, oh, wait. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait. Actually, you talk about that at some other point too, if you want to do that. Like, if you, oh, you want to, I think just clarifying when it matters. Yeah. 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 Context by context. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I agree. Uh, you can you can totally like navigate <laughs> out of there. Um, Idris, what you, what you, th- oh, I'm sorry. I'll call you idle, but in fairness, that is the, because it's the, been, it's look, pretty obvious. Well, listen, because the navigator, your name might be a little different. The navigator thing is it's, it, it's you're, like your, it reads you. Right? Yeah. It's been I, spending all I this time that. with you. Yep. So it doesn't think like, oh, there's a cover. Um, but, but so, the, but idle, um, you feel like there's more attuning to do in order to actually really unlock the entire capacity for what for yeah. what you can do with it but so and that's part of the reason too it doesn't really understand all your questions nor did uh, Stu because it was just like some things you were asking were just conceptually things that just really like, like that doesn't make any sense did you flash a <laughs> lot of interesting things going on so I don't even miss any of that like obviously there's like some just weird stuff going on you also you have that still have that pendant from the people with the I thought you took one off of the I, people I, on the ethereal garden, the wing, yeah. the eye wing pendant. Oh, the I did. I take one. Yeah. I, yeah. I grabbed one. I, I, think I don't I think I grabbed one. I grabbed the shield. And somebody else grabbed one. Oh, okay. I grabbed one. Yeah, okay, right. so we've got. He's got multi pendants. Yeah, you yeah. do. You have multi pendants. Multi pendant. Multi pendant. Multi Um, yes. In in Frank, there's some musical puzzles that just got because of the die rolls that I was hoping that you were going to like, No, damn it! I was like, my bard. This is the moment. <laughs> And then it's like, or we just do that. So, yeah, you guys can look at that puzzle later. That was, uh, this was the room. This room was just going to be this room. And then it was just going to be the uh, the one that I did. And it's this one, which would have been the end of the session last time. This, by the way, was not my construction. This was one page maps. That's cool. One page dungeons. Uh, yeah. I'll scoot that one page so dungeons. That's totally somebody. Uh, Somebody around. else's. That's pretty sweet. Diagrams. That's really neat. Yep. Isn't that neat? Is Whoever that made neat? this, you are awesome. Yeah, yep. I'll give them credit. Too, too, too bad it play tested so poorly. <laughs> well, yeah. Basically, we by the feedback. time we, oh, <laughs> yeah, we have feedback, <laughs> often when our designs don't work, these guys come to me and are like, this is how cool it could have been. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> all right. yeah, it's, it's true. I know. This is, and so, this was the room. And oh, I yeah. made that up just today because I'm like, oh, we should have one more you're floor. Cramming. Yeah. And so because because I was cramming it's like to last cover minute my half, design decisions. just didn't exist. Mm-hmm. That is actually probably a last minute design decision. And what it did for practical effect was it took time away from fucking this, there which was and the whole encounter. At the you end. have you have just described uh, making games in a nutshell. Yeah, that, yeah. That's, right that's feature creep. Yep, yep. You, yep. you mm-hmm. fucked everything up with feature creep, Mark. Right. I did, <laughs> I did. Yep. because it was also not you know like how you mentally rehearse stuff like so you do, yeah. Uh, this was not mentally rehearsed at all. Uh, before we let people go, should oh we yeah, the, please. The, uh, so. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining us tonight. There's there's one more thing we want you to know about Godlet. The Godlet. The Godlet. The you, Godlet. If you if you've been following our streams, you've probably heard our pitch before. But if you're new, uh, or if you've forgotten, like I forgot that secret that I was supposed to share in the I game. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's probably yeah. yeah. Um, 
We are currently participating in a charity board game tournament uh, that's put on by Mox Boarding House, which is a store here in Seattle. You might know them as Card Kingdom online. They run this tournament they've, uh, every year. They've run it for the last six years. We've been participating for the last four. They choose a different charity every year and raise money for them. Uh, so we are this year. Teams. This year we are raising money for El Centro de la Raza, which is an amazing um, yeah. local Seattle charity that reaches out to a global community. They're deeply embedded in the history of Seattle and, and helping provide. I, I, we we got the opportunity to meet them last week and. You have to believe me when I say they, they are involved in every service you could imagine from prenatal care to helping with tax prep, mm -hmm. subsidized housing, legal, legal advice, uh, daycare, cooking classes, like everything under the You're sun. Mm -hmm. Everything under the sun these guys uh, provide to the community. It's an amazing group. And if you donate, you can also earn amazing monolith-themed prizes. So please check out the link that we just dropped into chat. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and please, please give, uh, because, uh, it's, it's an amazing cause. Yep, it's good stuff. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. Uh, Thank you so much. See you guys next week, Tuesday. Yeah. We'll try to start at six. Yeah, we'll try to start at six. Jared. And, and, st and stop You came in, like, 15 minutes late. <laughs> I was told it's, that it was... I had work that I was told to do. All right. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Who's his boss? Excuse me. <laughs> 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 Shit, 